lady forgave troubles his own house. Now note it, the Bible says his own house and not anyone else's. Again it continues in verse 29 and it says the Lord is far from the wicked but he listens to the prayers of the righteous. Cactus, sincerely I don't know the reason why you invited me here and you're quoting all the Bibles to me. I don't need Bible quotations. My brother is the one that is evil. In fact, he is the one that is very close to Satan. He is the one that needs all the quotations you can quote. Not only Proverbs, you can quote from other books. To well, him. Well, I, I have listened to your brother. And that is exactly why I sent for you. And now that I have listened to you as well, I think I know exactly what the problem is. You see, he is your only brother and is the head of the family. And I know that in the past he has done exactly as you have requested. He has been granting all your requests. As you have admitted before me here, his level of maturity. But now I think that the issue is simple. He is becoming really worried about the high level of your prodigal nature. And as the head of the family, it is his duty to protect the family's legacies and inheritance. Uh, Cactus, uh, don't see it as if I'm cutting you. But I want to know exactly what my brother told you. Is he not ready to give me the land? I want to know. Not until you have been able to explain exactly what you did with the money you collected from the sale of the other family lands that you have sold in the past. I think it will be very, very difficult for your brother to grant you unhindered access to that piece of land. My advice to you, Brother Timothy, is simple. Go home and make peace with your brother. Go and reconcile with your brother. And as you do that, take this advice from the Lord. Beware of covetousness, for a man's life doesn't consist of all the material things he possesses. You must remember this at all times, Brother Timothy. At all times. Shall we pray now? Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your mercy. And I can tell you, I know the customs and the traditions of the Igbos very much. The Igbos do not present egg as cola. This is an egg that you brought. What are we doing with an egg? This is just an egg. But it will kill your brother in line with our demands. But before we go down to uh, undiluted spiritual build-up, I would like to ask you some important questions. You are Obufi and Edem. There is the Dibi of Amago, the great sea of our land. Okalamo, Okalamo. I'm listening, sir. This is a white egg. Mm -hmm. It came from a black hen. Can you tell me why a black hen must lay a white egg? I always knew that black hens lay white eggs. I cannot say I know why. Do you know the reason your elder brother refused to release the land to you? Ah, the reason is very simple. He is very wicked. He is evil. I disagree with you. Why? Your brother refused to give you the land because he rightly concluded that it would be useless. He also knows that he would sell the land just like he sold other pieces of land of the family. What are you saying? I want to understand you. 
are you telling me to my face that you're not going to aid my brother as I prayed you already? Don't make a man. I know other places I can go. Timothy, you are the one that will take your brother's life. But remember, the blood is on your head. And on your head only. And not me. Hey, with, with all due respect, we find the man. Let that be my headache. His blood will be on my head, no problem. I'm ready. I want him dead. Take this egg and leave it where your brother will see it. Once he sets his eyes on this egg, the forces of Oshie Kanku will inflict him with deadly ailments. He will die a few days after. Remember, his blood is on your head. And on your head only. No problem. I like this. <laughs> I like this. His blood will be on my head. No problem. How much should I pay for this? Leave my presence. Don't just Original. Timothy. What do you want me to do with this hot drink? Well, I, I came to see you as the head of the family, as my elder brother, to ask you for the very last time to grant me access to that parcel of land. I have something important to do with the land. I mean something that can be beneficial to the family. Okay. Why are you denying me access? Why are you laying pegs everywhere? Why are you blocking everywhere? I want to have access to the land. Please. That's why I'm here. Okay. And that's why I brought you the drink. Okay, I understand. Then, I'll take you to the chapel. Take me to the chapel to do what? Yes, I want you to go and swear. Just stand before the Blessed Sacrament and swear on your life that you're not going to sell the land as you did to the other ones. Simple. Then I'll grant you access to the land. Again, at the best of my knowledge, what we face here is, uh, is, is family issue. Yes. Mm -hmm. Almost all families have their problems and they are solving their problems secretly. It is only in this family that any small thing you run to the bishop, you run to the priest, to the cactus, and now you are involving even the blessed sacrament. Why are you like this? Uh, Timothy, let me ask you a simple question. Do you remember the number of lands we inherited from our father? Okay, in case you have forgotten, there were three number. You sold two and squandered the money. Nobody asked you a question about that. But go and remark it somewhere. Unless you are ready to go and swear before the Blessed Sacrament. Where you fail to do that, I am not ready to grant you access to the land. Yes. Yes. Well, is that what you are saying? Um, uh, I got a bad Okay. We shall see. Uh, Timothy, my brother, come on. <laughs> it seems you have forgotten something. Manya <laughs> Kono. Do you come, Manya Gane? As you have refused to handle this matter, yes. as a macho man that you are, mm -hmm. as the head of the family, yes. no problem. I will handle it as a masquerade. <laughs> Masquerade indeed. Mom, the guy for us and what about Buddha Madone? It is about time I started coming his prodigality. He cannot be allowed to continue like this. No. 
Are you not going to tell me what is wrong with you? Eh? Why are you moody all day? And why haven't you eaten your food? Olushi, I can confirm to you that everything is okay. There's no problem. I have been moody all day because I've been thinking about the future. <sighs> Which future are you thinking? Is it your own future or the future of the family? The future is the future, whether it is the future of the family or my future or even your own future. The future is the same. Do me one favor. Go back into the room and sleep. I'm okay. My husband, if you know you are okay, then eat the food. That's the only way you can convince me that you are, everything is okay with you. Eat your food. For the past two hours, I've kept this food before you, and you've not touched it. Eh? Is that a command or what? Hey, well, no, I know you, and I can't command you. I'm only telling you and begging you to eat your food. If you are begging me, then I'm also begging you to leave me alone. Go back into the house and sleep. I will eat the dinner when I want to eat the dinner. Understand that this man here is the head of this family. I am thinking. And I want to be left alone to think. Please. When you are done with your thinking, eat your food. Oh? I am going in to sleep. To sleep well. Good night. Sleep. Good night. Good night. Lay egg in the open. attention uncle please let's take him to the hospital i can't understand even one thing from what you say i suspect something is wrong with the father my father just collapsed that's what i'm saying uncle we need to get him to the hospital please he needs medical attention let's go uncle come now yeah, please go. He just came out and saw an egg right there. An and egg. he fainted. An egg? Where's the egg? I don't know what has become of the egg, but the egg was there. Please, I don't know what has hey. happened to my father. Hey. Oh, an egg and you just sitting in this Let's take him inside. Papa, I know. Papa, just take it easy. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my is this not the very egg you gave me? How did it come back to you? With it? How? The forces of Ose Kanko is closely associated with the forces of Ebruje Ebruna, which is one and the same as the forces of To and Fro. The egg is back now in its original position because all the things I installed in it have been taken. I call them properties of death and all these things are deposited in your brother now. Uwevi, 
Can you look me in the eyes and give me this assurance that my brother Ikenna is going to die from this attack? Is he going to die? Timothy, mm -hmm. it had never happened before that properties of death were deposited in a man and he survives. I can tell you, he will face what others have faced. But whatever happens to your brother is on your head. You have said that before and I agreed with you. His blood is going to be on my head. No problem. But I want you to give me your word on this. Look me in the eyes and give me this assurance that my brother is going to die. Finish. Oyamu, even to a man. Don't come. Timothy, leave my presence. If I allow a beautiful damsel like you to handle her bills in a supermarket like this, then I have no reason to call myself the slick man of the city. I don't understand the meaning of your interference, sir. The meaning is that your bill is on me. So I want you to go back and do some more shopping, okay? I'm gonna pay, yes, I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna apply the bill for you, alright? Don't worry, I'm okay with these ones. Thank you. Human wants are insatiable, and that is the conclusion of the economist. And I so much believe him yet. That's where I wanted to go back, do some more shopping. I wanted to understand that your bill is on me. I'm gonna pay anything, anything at all, okay? Come on, there's nothing there. Just move it a lady, you can you know, the place. I'm gonna pay. It's, a, it's, it's coming from my heart. I don't know what to say to you guys. You've really made my day. And I must say I'm so excited. I'm so happy that you're excited. I'm gonna call you as we agreed and I hope we can start a good relationship. I want it to flow naturally. Thank you once more. You're more than welcome. you met this dude in the supermarket that paid your bills that is making you this excited? If why are you always throwing yourself at men? Listen to me precious. I don't throw myself at men. I was on my own. I was actually about paying for the things I bought at the supermarket. This cute guy walked up to me and he said he wants to take care of my bills. And it was so romantic the way he said it. I, I instantly started liking him. So what do you want me to do? What? Doesn't mean that you will never disappoint me. Now listen, there are things going on in this town that you don't know. So you better be careful. I have no business with what happens in town. My concern 
is that guys like me a lot. And they are always ready to take care of my bills. My bill at the supermarket today was 7,000 plus. He asked me to go back and do some more shopping. I declined, but he insisted. I went back and the money came up to 27,000 naira plus. He paid without any objection. So tell me the reason why I won't be serious with such a guy. Tell me. You know, I readily confirm that you've made up your mind to sleep with this guy you just met only a few hours ago. Am I right, my dear friend? Do I look like a pretender like all of you? He has already given me an appointment at the Olive Suits and Spa. And I will be with him tomorrow and I will fire him down. I can make you part of it if you want. They are two in numbers and his friend is also loaded like my guy. So I can make you part of the game if you're ready. God forbid! Everyone knows that I'm not going to take part in such sinful arrangements. Now listen, as you continue to wallow in your sin, <laughs> remember that no sin goes unpunished. <laughs> Mrs. Preacher, Madam Pastor, Please, this is my life and I have every reason to live my life the way I want to live it. This is not your life. Please, stop preaching to me because you're not my mother. You are not! Now listen, Jesus says, take heed and beware of the living of the Sadducees and Pharisees. I pray you understand the scripture before it's too late for you. I've told you my own. Whatever. I can assure you that you can't define the term romance because you're a war. I know what? You're gonna pay the price for being a tat. Maybe you're scaring me. What's the meaning of that? Ah! What are you guys doing with knives and surgical gloves? Do you know the difference between life and death? Do you know? Life and death? What's the meaning of that? Are you listen, woman? We have no time to waste. In your next life, let the world be you Come on, fight you! Everything must be under control. Cut off the breasts and the kidneys and every other sensitive parts that we need. Alright, but we have reasons to believe that her kidney may not be in perfect condition because she's been smoking heavily. Our concern is not the quality or the condition. Just get it done. It's alright, boss. We'll do that. It's taking so much time. Oh, 
this time is that? Um, Uncle Timothy. Oh, is that my brother Timothy? Timothy, yes. I am very happy you are here at last. Timothy, for three days now. Ah, Sorry. I've been sick. And you've never come to come and see me. Is that fair, Timothy? Uh, you can, I don't know why you are sounding that way. My wife came back and told me that the sickness was not ordinary. In fact, she said it was an attack. And I knew that this is not something that these doctors can handle. Because when we go to hospital, they will give you drip and they will begin to give you check -trap. It will not work. I, on my own, decided to travel to Mudora to go and uh, bring you something that you will take and you are back on your feet. I got to Mudora and God punished me. I met them in the middle of the festival of Ziran. And nobody was willing to talk to me. Everybody was busy. They were consumed in the, in the festival. I decided to wait. The festival ended only yesterday in the middle of the night. And this morning I met this man that gave me this, this medicine. That I want you to drink now. If you drink this thing now, you are back on your feet. Take it. My brother. He now will not have anything to do with a child. Remember. I am a Christian. I don't do charms. Esther, is there a way you can tell your father that there is a difference between charms and the medicine? This is not a charm. This is a potent herbal medicine from Umudora that will heal him. Why is he calling it charm? Papa, listen to him. He said it's not a charm. Timothy, I know that you hurt me because I did not grant you access to that land. But let me tell you one thing. I'm no more interested in that land. Because between yesterday and today, our late father and three other members of our family who were dead keep appearing to me in my dream. And uh, it is now very clear to me that any time from now, I'll join my ancestors. Can, but why are you talking that way? You are still a very strong man. You are full of life. Nothing happened to you. Don't say that. You are seeing our ancestors. Why are they appearing? Please. Drink the medicine that I brought. Papa, you are strong. You are strong. Nothing will happen to you. Timothy. Just remember that I have only one child. Esther here. It's my only daughter, but for sure, she will not remain here forever. She will soon get her own house. But oh, Timothy, I want you to do one thing for me. Just take very good care of her, please. Papa, why are you sounding like this? Why are you sounding like this? You're strong. Nothing will happen to you. And, and there is a medicine already here. Esther. Papa. You will not understand. Timothy here is my only brother. And your only uncle. I know him. But for sure, God will take care of you. <laughs> this friend of mine that came into your hotel since yesterday. She has not returned and her number is not going. May I know the name of this friend? Thank you. Her name is Eve Broderick. She's tall and dark in complexion. Eve Broderick. Excuse me.
I'm sorry, my dear. But we may never had any case with Annie. No, no, no. Her name is not going to appear as a case because she didn't come here to lodge. She actually came to see a friend of hers. Did you in any way see anybody that looks like her? That's what I mean. What is going on here? Sir, she said she's looking for a friend of hers. Name is Broderick. Yes, if Broderick. She said this her friend came into this hotel since yesterday. And ever since then, her number has not been true. And she has not returned. And I have checked our guest list. She's not in our list. So how did you know that this said friend of yours came into this hotel? She told me where she was going to. And when she eventually came here, she sent me a test, which I still have in my phone, telling me of how beautiful this place is. We were actually communicating when she ran out of communication. I don't know what has happened to her. The only thing I can say is that it is possible that your friend is with a guest in one of the rooms. You should wait for her. You see, people come into this hotel to relax. I don't think it's wise enough for us to go disturbing our guests just because we are looking for a particular friend of yours. I can permit you to wait for her in the reception, okay? You're welcome. Who's he? He's our visiting supervisor. Visiting supervisor? Yeah. So there's nothing you can do? Is that What is the situation? There's a girl waiting at the reception. She said she's looking for the girl with Butchard because the Butchard girl had told her she was coming here. What did you guys tell her? She's been handled. I'm only calling to know if we have your consent to convert her equally. No, 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 no. She may have told someone else that she is there. Don't do anything to her. Let her leave the facility in one piece so that we don't face a situation where we have more questions than answers. Hope you guys get the drift. You are the boss. I'll get back to you. I don't know the secret. Her meat is looking different from that of other girls that were fried before now. It is possible she may have used a lot of chemicals. That's why the flesh looks different. I want you to continue frying until the color changes to the normal beef. Yeah? It's okay. This feeling that your said friend may have gone somewhere else. No, she can't tell me that she's here when she's not here. She told me she was here. You see, many girls in this town derive pleasure you know, by telling people that they slept in a hotel, and your friend is surely one of them because I've caught all the rooms that are presently occupied, and there's no girl like um, Eve Broderick anywhere in this hotel with any guest. Then where could she be? You may still stay a little longer, but I'm telling you the situation of things. There's no girl like that in this hotel. You know, you can, well, you need to locate where she is, okay? And of course, if you have some money, you can go to the bush bar and have yourself some barbecue, okay? Do have a sweater. You're welcome. Thank you very much. If I should rely on the strength of the information written down here, it would be very hard to obtain a search warrant against a hotel as big as Olive Suit and Spa. You see, you are merely speculating, and judges do not issue such warrants based on speculative statements. 
You know, when I was looking at the visiting supervisor, I know for sure that there is something he was hiding. So all I can say is that uh, I will investigate the matter. But you see, all these girls who are into the habit of following men they are not acquainted with should know that there are many evil men moving around. Yeah, yeah. But I just want to be sure that if my friend is fine wherever she is, not only Eve has this habit of sending me pictures of what is happening around her, she has not done this since yesterday. So I know she is not okay where she is. Inspector, do something, please! It's alright, so it's okay, she'll be alright, eh? Uh, the only thing I'll say is that we'll commence investigation immediately and I'll brief you on the progress you make. So I just calm down. Are you okay? Oh. Alright, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. You were there when your father made his last wishes. He asked you to listen to me because he knew I remain the only brother he has. This is two weeks since we buried your father. In line with the customs and traditions of our people. And I want you to move about to my place because there is no way you will remain here. Why are you adamant to do that? Uncle, it is very difficult for me to leave my father's house that I've lived all my life. It's very difficult. Esther. There are things you just cannot say. Don't make me angry. Because if you make me angry, you will regret your life. Your father was my brother. And you have to understand that I want the best for you. You cannot remain here. Your father is no more. You want to live alone? A single girl living alone in a big house like this? So that all these useless tippers that drivers that are driving all these useless tippers around here will come here and be counting censors on my, on, my, on my brother's daughter. It cannot happen. Come on, Lily. You have to move over to my place and you're moving today with me. Okay, uncle, can you please give me at least just two weeks? You don't understand what I'm saying. I am not going to give you even one day, even one additional day I'm not giving you. You are moving over to my place and you're moving over as in right now. Okay? Uncle, please. My jam is in two weeks. I just need time to just sit down and prepare for my exams. After my exams, I will come. Only jump. Just jump. Even if you're preparing for Cambridge, is my roof leaking? That you cannot prepare the exam in my house? Why are you even standing here arguing with this girl? Stand up, my friend! I'm going to pack your things! I want to lock this door! I want to lock this door! Your father asked you to move over to my place! To listen to me in everything! That's what my father said! Listen to, listen to me in everything! And I'm telling you what I want! You are making me, you are standing here arguing with me! Is this the area commander finally? Yeah, this is the area commander. I was told you on the line. Is anything the matter? I thought you didn't want to answer me. I've been waiting for over 15 minutes. I'm sorry about that, Gladys. I actually left a meeting to take this call. Because I was told you sounded frantic. May I know what the problem is? Well, there is an inspector called Zaki that has been doing everything possible to run down my hotel. I don't know why. I want you to call him to order. The case that Inspector Saki is handling has been brought before me. It has to do with a particular university student that disappeared without a trace. What has that got to do with your hotel? Well, your inspector believes that the girl in question disappeared from my hotel. I don't know what informed that conclusion. He's been coming to my hotel every day to ask questions and I feel that is embarrassing. I want that to stop. Has he explained the reason why he is coming to your hotel? I will not stoop so low as to ask him anything. I just want you to talk to him, please. I spent over 300 million naira to set up that facility. I wouldn't want anybody to come up from nowhere to run that down for me. I have not recovered my investment yet. Please ask him to stop before my customers run. Thank you very much, officer. You are welcome, Gladys. Try and see me later in the evening. Consider it done. 
we run this city. If that man comes to the hotel again to ask those stupid questions, tell him to go to hell. I've already made up my mind to play rough with him. No, that won't be necessary. Do not play rough with anybody. We run this land. Mm. We wouldn't want the land to run us. Always. <laughs> Back to work, guys. What do you want me to do for you? We friend the devil. I want to have something, something like sham, that will make it possible for Esther to forget all her father's properties. In fact, if possible, I want you to give me something that will make it possible for Esther not to ever remember in her lifetime that she ever spent any night in any compound that was her father's compound before. But why would you want to manipulate an innocent girl? Because I want to sell the property. I want to make it mine. Esther lives with me. I know her very much. I can say I know her inside out. How difficult she could be. I know that she's going to be a problem. She's going to be a stumbling block. And that is why I want this charm. Something that will make her to be blind. Let her become so blind that even when she's looking at me, she will not be able to understand what I'm doing. You can use mere intimidation to do that. The girl fears you. And you can order her to keep quiet and she will obey. We are saying this thing because you don't know the girl. This is a girl I live with. There is always an extent mere intimidation can go. Esther is not the kind of girl you humble with mere intimidation. She lives with me. She's very smart. Very intelligent. I don't want to use intimidation. I want to use sharp because I am convinced in my heart that Sham will work faster. That's why I'm here. Timothy, let me warn you. All the things you are doing in your family shall backfire on you. And on you only. I don't want to be a party to it. You would be a party to it. Why would you be a party to it? You are a native doctor. Okalamo or Okalamo. Doing your work as a native doctor. It will not backfire on you. You are always in your house. I am the one that always comes for your services. Give me the sham. It will backfire on me, no problem. I'm ready. Yeah. Please. Odenba. Sham Adekamba. Take this. Take her to a place where only the best of the earth shall be your witness. Give her this. And as she is holding it and asking you what to do with it, tell her that you are the owner of all her father left. As long as nobody is looking at both of you, she will accept it and it will sink into her heart as the valid truth of life. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> What if I give her this charm and she refuses to even touch it? Don't misunderstand my question. I'm asking because Esther is a girl I know. She's very smart, very intelligent, but very stubborn. I can give her this charm and she will refuse to touch it. And I want you to explain what happens if I give her this charm and she refuses to even touch it. If she refuses to touch it, proceed to make the statements as you are holding it and she's looking at you. It will work. The important thing is for her to set her eyes on this. This is why I like you. Because you always have a workable charm for almost all situations. 
I will do as you say. Yeah. And I want to give you one assurance. I will come back. What? Once, once it works, once even all. Then. <laughs> I'm sorry, officer, but I'm not happy with the way this matter is going. My friend is not yet back and nobody has seen her anywhere around. Why are we not taking this matter seriously? You see, I was asked to discontinue with the investigation. And there's no way you expect me to disobey my superiors. <laughs> what? Are you aware we're talking about somebody's sister here? Why are we not taking this matter the way we should? Okay, in the course of my investigation, mm. I've managed to locate the taxi that took her to the hotel. You know, she went in there and she didn't come out. So the police should investigate this matter properly, please. It is possible she entered the hotel. Nobody is disputing that. But what I'm telling you is that she's no longer in the hotel. Before we were asked to discontinue with the case, we investigated the hotel. And in the course of our investigation, we searched the whole rooms in the hotel. We searched everywhere. And she's not there. You want me to say that she's there when I know she's not there? Where is she? Where is my friend? If she's not in there, where is she? I don't know. And I cannot say I know what I don't know. Oh. Officer, can you give me reason for me to believe that police are still our friends? Gosh. Esther, what are your plans for your life? Eh, hey, Auntie, I'm hoping that I'll pass my jam and then I'll get admission into the university. So when I get into the university, I'll now be able to decide what I want to do. Yes, you are. Mm. I have a friend. He confided in me that he's looking for a wife. And I know he is serious. So I was thinking about both of you will meet and... Um, and uh, Auntie, I'm sorry. But I'm not thinking of that. You're not thinking about marriage? What are you up to? Do you want to remain in this house forever? Auntie, I just told you that I want to go to the university and further my education. Go to university? On which account? Oh, are you hoping that my husband will pay your fees to, to the university? Listen to me, Esther. The man I'm talking about is the best teller in the poor market. And I know he will make the best husband. So, you better make up your mind though. Because you are going to marry him. I have no choice. Auntie, are you going to force me? I said I don't want to, to get married yet. I want to go to school. Esther, I'm talking and you're talking. Eh? Come and close your mouth. Idiot. I'm talking and you're talking. What happened? Why are you giving her? Look at this girl. I found a husband for her. And she said that she, she's not going to marry him. Nine. I have found a husband for her. His name is Obedo, the best fellow in the market. So, Esther, you better make up your mind because you're not going to marry Obed. You must marry Obed, the teller. You must marry him. Kill him, he's finished. You know, you have no choice. Clap. You marry him. Clap for yourself. Marriage maker. Marriage fixer. You have going to prepare a husband for my niece. A man, a teller at the poor market, and you are proud of it. This is your shoulders as if you have done something fantastic. You ever think that my people are, are like local as your people? They have no class. But anyhow, Easter. Follow me. Follow me. Timothy, what is the meaning of this? Where are you going with her? I can't go up and walk in on her. Yes. Um. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Esther, you know you are the only child of my late brother Ikenna. And as a good man, I know that the time is ripe for me to show you all the things that your father left behind. All your father's property and belongings. You need to know all. Uh, Uncle, I actually 
think that I know all his property? Or which of them do you think I don't know? You don't know. Let me show you. Look at me. This thing you're seeing here is your father's shop. I want you to take it. My, God forbid. Uncle, my father was a good Christian. He was never into charms. Are you not telling me that you know my brother more than me? Ever before he became your father, he was originally my brother. He acquired many charms for self-protection. Just like all the men that are in this land, that are, all of them are going to church. All of them are making charms for self-protection. But among all the charms your father kept, this one you are seeing here is the only one that a woman can handle. And that is why I went to where he kept it, to go and retrieve it. I actually spent so much money to retrieve this charm from where your father kept it. And I brought you here today because I want to give it to you so that it can start to protect you the way it was protecting your father. It's your father's property. Mba, Mba, Uncle, I, I, my father said I should obey you. But this particular one, I know you're leading me astray. Uh, if the charm was supposed to protect him, why did he die? I cannot touch any charm. Your father, you came here. He didn't keep any property. He has no belongings in his life. Do you agree? Even that house where he was living before he died, that house was not his house. It is not his house. We will never be his house. That house actually is my house that I built with my money. Right on the land where our mother used to cultivate cocoyam. And even now in Akwede. It is my house. Do you agree? Your father has nothing. So up to tomorrow, just to understand that everything that belongs to our family is actually mine. You can never lay claim to anything. Understood? Maybe be sure you are will me. Because sexy vampires is all about sex. Oh my goodness. Sex, sex, sex. And you know what Gladys? Sorry about the bill. I'll write it all. Mm. That's my girl! Mm. I like that. Mm. You know what? We are the movers and shakers in this city. Mm. And we have any men at our back and call. Yeah, yeah. On that note, I think we'll consider what Christy had just said. <laughs> it's gonna be a hot, hot and sexy night, you know? Mm. <laughs> no, no. Um, there's something I'd like to discuss with you girls in this meeting. Something that happened in my estate yesterday. Anyway, let me relax. As we're relocating to Olive Suit and Spa, girls, we're aimed for hurt, sexy night girls. Yeah. We're not going anywhere until we pop this child. They are. Why are you smoking Gary in my house? Is there no food in this house? Uncle Auntie has refused to give me food to eat. I'm starving to death. I just need something in my stomach. Although she has refused to give you food in this house, where I have food enough. What is the meaning of that? It simply means that I'm not prepared to accommodate a woman who is not prepared to go into a woman in this house. Olushi. Esther here is my niece and she's a woman as we speak. What do you mean by she has, she has refused to grow into a woman? As, as she's a dwarf in your sight. Nine. Only two days ago, I prepared a very expensive pot of soup in this house. And this girl, Esther, your so-called niece, allowed the pot of soup to saw. Hmm. Esther, listen to me. You keep eating that pot of soup until it finishes. You finish the pot of soup, oh. Uncle, we all woke up in the morning to find out that the pot of soup had gone sour. Nobody knew what happened. I don't, I don't even know what happened. I don't know why auntie is holding me responsible for that. Mm, no. You see the girl you are defending? 
you see the girl you are defending before me. Listen to me, Esther. You will finish the pot of soup. You must finish the pot of soup, Lisa. You must finish, finish it. Stupid girl. What's your problem, Maruchi? She must finish the pot of soup. Why are you being so wrestling on this girl? Why are you doing this? This is my brother's daughter. What's your problem? Why are you being so wicked? You know, most times when you behave, I begin to wonder where you kept your makeup, human sympathy. Sugar is generally confirmed to be sour. That is what you want my niece to be eating. Is she a pig? Or is it called a river baroka? Do you know how much I spent in cooking that soup? Is it your money? How much you spent? Is it your money that you spent in cooking the soup? Soup that is generally confirmed to be sour. That is what you want somebody to eat. Why are you so wicked? This is the reason why I look at all of you that I say you are Christians. I begin to wonder what kind of nonsense Christianity that is. Mrs. Preacher, Madam Pastor, please, this is my life, and I have every reason to live my life the way I want to live it. This is not your life. Please, stop preaching to me because you're not my mother. You are not! I know I tried my best to make her say reason, but she refused to understand. <laughs> my dear. I still do not come to terms with this whole confusion that Eve has gone missing. I don't believe it and I don't want to believe it. You know, I have this feeling that the minds of people in this society has something to do with this mess. Mind how you talk. Freedom of speech has its limits. You don't seal your mouth, they'll seal it for you. Trust me, I'm not happy seeing this. But if they're not part of this, how come the police will close the case of a missing person that is yet to be seen? Or have a clue of her whereabouts. Tell me. Well, I don't know. It's possible that Eve traveled to Dubai without telling anybody. Anything is possible. She's a babe. Eve has no international passports. Excuse me. How could you say such a thing like that? How would you want me to believe you that a big girl like Eve's got no international passport? How? You're talking about my roommate here. Sure, I can remember before her disappearance, she met with this chill that was supposed to take her to Amsterdam, but because she got no international passport, she missed out. That was actually what she was planning to do before she got disappeared. <laughs> okay, fine. So, as you said that Eve did not travel abroad, where is she then? Where is she? Provide Hannah, where is she? Eve is in that hotel. You know, when I went there, I bribed the gates man and he told me that if at all Eve has left that place, then it should be with a tinted car. So, Eve is definitely in there. But I thought you said that the policeman searched the whole premises, I mean the whole rooms, and that she's nowhere to be found. So what are you now telling me? Stop this. How can you be this dark? Were you there when the policeman searched? So why should you conclude? So are you possibly saying that the policeman lied to you? For what? As what? Why should they lie to you? It's possible. Because the gate man knew when she entered in there, but could not tell when she left. That means Eve is inside there. And as long as the police refuse to reopen that, that case, <laughs> I see Olive, Sears and Spa as a very terrible place to be. Trust me. Well, that's your own point of view. As for me, Olive, Suits and Spa is one of the best hotels around town. And any girl could go to any lens to spend the night with a man in that hotel. Stephanie, oh please, what is all this? See, this is what has caught up with Eve. Do you understand? This, just take it. I'm sorry to say this. This greed of a thing is what we actually land with girls into trouble. Anyway, if you like, you go to like. I like. Yeah, I start doing that. I'm fine. Look at Esther. She has surely developed into her mother. I cannot forgive myself if I leave another man to eat what is directly under me. Esther! Yes, Uncle. Come. You see, Esther, if you need anything in the future, don't ever go to my wife. 
come and ask me directly. And it will be handled. It's a promise. Thank you, Uncle. Yes, and uh, go in and uh, have something to eat. Be fast about it. I want to take you to the forest. There is a particular family boundary that you need to know. You are an adder in this family and you should be made to understand our boundaries. So go in there and uh, eat something and be ready. You can see I'm already dressed, so don't waste so much time. Good. Thank you, Uncle. Spend a few minutes of your time. My madam would like to talk to you. And then, um, who is your madam? Um, she's in the car waiting for you. I bet you're not gonna regret meeting her. Um, sweetie, just stand um, one minute, please. Excuse me, I beg your pardon. You really wanna do that? Don't get me. You would be wondering why um, I called you, but please don't be scared, okay? I saw you coming out with a young lady, so I couldn't help but to ask my boys to call you for me. Honestly, I still don't know what you want from me. My name is Gladys, and the president and chief executive officer of Olive Suites and Spa. And you look like a young man that has got enough energy to go all out. I would say you should dismiss that girl and come with me. I want to change your life. I want to give you an experience of your life. Uh, uh, my name is Sergeant. And I know exactly what you want. I can assure you I'm equal to it. Hmm? But my problem is the man you have with you. Won't they feel somehow when I start, you know, doing something with you? These are my boys. And I don't think you expect me to be having something to do with my boys, do you? Well, dismiss the girl and uh, come with me. Okay? Okay. I want to show you what life is all about. One moment. I'm waiting. I'll be back. Hi, Chess. Can you explain the meaning of this blatant assault on my personality? Can you? The only personality here. <laughs> Is the MD CEO of Olive Suits and and then um, that's the lady sitting in that Porsche car back there. And um, you know what, baby? I'm living with her right now. Are you out of your mind, Hisense? Are you out of your mind? You want to abandon me here and follow a lady you don't even know? Hisense, Hisense. Wow, 
Well, baby, you know, really, I'll come back for the car so you can take a cab home. Olive Seals and Spa as a very terrible place to be. Trust me. I sent has abandoned me here and follow a lady he identified as the CEO of the Olive Seals and Spa. <laughs> Same hotel where it disappeared. What's the name of this? Something very strange happened today, and even as I'm making this call, I still don't want to believe it happened. <sighs> Gee, you sound worried. What's the problem? My dear, Hyacinth abandoned me here and followed the lady he identified as the CEO and president of Olive Suits and Spa. <laughs> Are you kidding me or something? I am not kidding you. I am telling you exactly what happened. Listen, he said I should find my way home, that he would come for his car later. Entered their car and left. That was it. I send did that. You know what? Just come to my place. I'm home, okay? Don't worry, come. What should we be doing at your place? I am telling you that he was so charmed by this lady that he left his car open. You know what? Just leave the car there. Nothing will happen to it, okay? You know, this could be a link for us to resolve Eve's disappearance. Please come back home. Alright, whatever. I'm coming. Uncle, you said you wanted to show me an important boundary, but you have not showed me anything. What are we doing here? Esther, I can handle it. And looking at you, I know you can handle it. I want us to handle it together. I don't know. What, what, what do you want us to handle together? Okay, let me just show you. Right? You're my uncle, you're not supposed to hold me like that. Esther, understand something. My wife has already made up her mind that she's going to destroy you. She hates you so much. I am the only one that can protect you. I'm the only one that can destroy all her evil plans against you. But I want us to have an understanding so that I can go all out to protect you. I want you to be my secret lover. Eh? Uncle? Uncle, just, just listen to yourself. Uncle? Uh -uh, uncle, it cannot happen now. You're my uncle. Why can you want to be my lover at the same time? Uh, what is an abomination? No, Esther. Why would you use such a word? Abomination? What are you talking about? Do you know what abomination is? Let me educate you. Abomination simply means when something bad happens and people start discussing it, then other people will hear it. It becomes abomination. When something bad happens, no matter how bad it is, and nobody talks about it, nobody hears it, it can be abomination. Forget the fact that you are a small girl that was born and raised right under my nose. Now you are a big woman. And I am not sure you can do this. It is going to be a secret between you and I forever. Nobody will hear about it and it will never have any effect on us. No! Uncle, it will not happen no. God forbid! Ha! My father said I should obey you, but, but not in this kind of thing now, Uncle. Esther! Don't provoke me. Remember you just passed your jump. You need support, financial support. 
somebody who will see you through the university. I am your uncle and I am the one that will do that. But for me to have, have this motivation, you need to open up so that I can have this understanding with you. It's not going to cost us anything. We are really here. Nobody will know about it. We do eat here and it will remain here. Well, I'm going to Come back here. Oh, uncle! 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 No! Do you ever think that I will ever leave you to get out of my sight? Uncle, no! I have made a move. Do you know how long it took me to make, make this move? Uncle! To make this decision? Uncle, please leave me alone! Uncle! Ah, uncle! Uncle! Is it because you have access to my office or what? Why will you always walk in here to make empty reports? Is that what you think, officer? That this report is empty? Of course it is empty! An adult is another adult and they decide to go somewhere to talk or do whatever they like. Why would you involve the police in something like that? Officer, there is more to it. This lady is the owner of the same hotel where our friend Eve entered and has not returned until date. Hyson here is my boyfriend and I don't want to lose him, not for anything. So what do you want from the police? It's possible that they have taken him to do to him whatever they have done to Eve. Why don't you get your men ready to go to the hotel and find out what is happening there? Listen, we are not going to invade any place until if after 24 hours you have not seen the guy. Officer, 24 hours is such a long time to wait now. They might have killed him before then. Exactly. That's the evidence we need. So that, that will force the police to step in there and arrest everybody and seal up the place. But let's pray it doesn't come to that. Officer, I can't believe this. Are you telling me you're going to fold your hands and wait until somebody dies before you do something? Officer, is that what you're saying? Listen to me, my friend. Police don't work like that. Police work with evidence. I mean, solid evidence, not something based on rumors and hearsay. You understand? We are monitoring their information. And we will always feed you back with the offshoot of the investigation. You understand me? I'm sorry to say this, officer. But you know, this is the reason why many people are ready to tell you that police are not their friends. Gosh. <laughs> well, if they fail to see the police, if they, if they think the police is not their friend, now they're savvy. Let them wait until they are attacked by hand robbers. Let them not call the police. <laughs> Bravo, over. Uh, you want to go to the Akuzo, Yes. That's 200,000 Naira. My benevolent pay for your extreme poor performance. 200,000 Naira? But this wasn't what we agreed. Whatever we agreed it was on the premise that you were going to take me to wherever I wanted to be. But you proved to be weaker than those people that I call weaklings. You know what? Just get yourself out of this bed this minute, out of this hotel, before you see me. Because I might not be as pretty as I look. I can be very evil. S see you? Is there anything about you that I've not seen? You know. If I get into that room and I come out and I still see you on this bed, you would have yourself to blame because you will not be able to explain what happened to you. As a matter of fact, whatever that happened here today must be kept close to your heart. And let me tell you something, in this city, there is a temple called the Temple of Sexy Vampires. If you don't want me to sacrifice you on the altar of that temple, you would better keep your mouth shut because the very day you open your mouth to tell anybody what happened here today, you're a dead man. And if I kill you, <laughs> there'll be no cops to bury. Get your ass out of the bed. Now. Isn't it better I will leave this car here until tomorrow? I mean, this place is secure and I'm sure nothing will happen to the car. Precious, I don't like taking chances. When I called the electrician, you said that you know, so that you can come and join Rice and start this car. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. I did. Don't tell me you've been here since that time. And where are you coming from? Come, I don't understand this question from your friend. I hope you've not been discussing me with people. How is that all you have to say? 
you abandoned me here and left with an evil woman that has been killing people in the town and you're asking me what I've been discussing you with people is that all you have to say in this city there's a temple called the temple of sexy vampires if you don't want me to sacrifice you on the altar of that temple you would better keep your mouth shut because the very day you open your mouth to tell anybody what happened here today you're a dead man and if I kill you there'll be no cops to bury an evil woman that has been killing people come I says tell us everything you know about the woman tell us where she took you to and what and what did you do with her please I want to know what you know about this woman. Okay, this is it. I have this roommate called Eve, and she ran across this guy that took her to Holy Shield and Spa. You know, people saw her enter there. In fact, she actually called me from there. Do you know, as we speak now, nobody knows where Eve is. We reported to the police, and they said they've gone to the hotel to search every room, but did not see her. I know Eve is in there, but nobody can find her. So, Tell us your experience with a woman. It will help in our quest to know what happened to him. This is Esther's admission letter into the university. She got admission into Enugu State University. And it was a celebration. Listen to me. Already, I have booked the Kodi Kedi by one tapa to give me first class by one tomorrow morning for celebration. So if I'm not here, Timothy, you will go ahead to pay Esther's school fees to the university, eh? You tell me to not go with that. Esther is my niece, and I want the best for her. Hey! Don't give me that, please, Timothy. Don't, I beg you. You have a son and a daughter who in the next two years, one of them, if not both of them, will get admission into the university. If you go ahead to pay Esther school fees to the university, how are you going to cope when your own children get admission to the university? I am not going to bother myself with what is going to happen in the next two years concerning my son and my daughter's admission into the university. I'm not a wish to begin to project into two years. Projector, witchcraft, witchcraft projector. I'm not a witch. The important thing now is that Esther has gotten admission into the university, and I'm doing everything humanly possible to push her into the university. Hey, over my dead body. Yeah. Over my dead body. Hey, take me, me. Eh? I have found a husband for Esther. Instead of you to force Esther to marry the man I found for her, you are here telling me that you are going to pay her school fees to the university. Take hey, me, me. I'm not poor. Do I look like a fool to you? A bad man. I will allow you to marry a man that she's not comfortable with because you find, you find him. Marriage maker. The important thing for us is to safeguard Esther's future. And the process of safeguarding that future starts with education. Protecting the future, safeguarding the future. Is open. That is what they say already every day. Education is the key. Every, every, every day you sit very close to radio listening. I, I, you don't, you don't even think you're listening to, listening to in, the, in, in, the, in the radio. How do you be able to education is the key? That any woman that has that is not educated in Nigeria in the next few years will be hopeless and stupid. Have you have you been hearing that? All these school girls that are walking about without education, you think they have any future? Why are you looking at me? You don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Man, if you want this to be the reason why this our marriage will scatter, I want you to understand that I am ready for you and Esther in this house. As for Esther, she must marry the man I found for her. I'm not quite choice, so she must marry the man I found for her. She will waste away in this house. Oh, God, that couple. That's the only choice. She must marry your bed. Mr. School Fees Payer. Oh, boy. In this house. But marriage fixer. Marriage fixer. You are looking for people that will marry somebody. Would you get people that can pay bills? All these people that are carrying money up and down. You won't find them. You won't find them. You won't find them. Can you pay bills? 
Can you bring me coolers, coolers, coolers of beer? Tankers of beer? Can you machine tank here? I don't know. My evil nation. I want to thank you for coming in such a short notice. Listen, thank you. You don't need to thank me. You are the head of the home. Believe by your kindness. Anytime you need anything, just call on me and I must abandon whatever I'm doing to come and attend to you. So, what do you need this time? Well, I have a man who wants to adopt a boy of say 10 years old and a girl of say 12 to 13 years old. So I was wondering if we still have people of that age bracket left in the orphanage to be adopted? Well, we have more than enough of the people in that age bracket. So when is the fellow coming? Anytime. As a matter of fact, I'm the one that's been stopping him. Why are you stopping him? You know, the essence of the orphanage is to raise children and allow them to be adopted. As long as you trust him, let him come to the office. We'll show him the processes of the law as it concerns the law of child adoption. But you know, there is um, a condition attached to it. That's the main reason why I invited you here. What is the condition? Well, he said the girl must be a virgin. I'm bothered. Because I am aware that the country is sexually damaged to the point that there are no longer virgins left. I want to know, do we still have vagents left in the orphanage to be adopted? The truth is, all our girls are vagents. But honestly, I'm not in a hurry to release any child to a man that lays much emphasis on the child's virginity status. Why is that so? Because this man may be amongst the people that would adopt a child and ultimately abuse the child sexually. I just want to be sure that he would do no such thing before I release any child to him. You see, that is the main reason why I chose you to be the matron of my home. I am impressed. So now we have um, concluded the arrangement that there are vagents left for the man to adopt. I would investigate him and then get back to you. Is that okay? Well, that's nice, but I would like to know who he is so that I can investigate him on my own. <laughs> Never mind that. I will handle that. A drink? that happened here today must be kept close to your heart. You see, I don't understand why you guys are asking me these questions. What happened was between the lady and I. And I don't want to discuss it with anybody. I sense, are you aware this matter is with the police? And the police will want to know exactly what happened? Or what you know about the case? Did I ever tell anyone of you that I'm in some sort of trouble? Going to the police to make a complaint. Why? Hi, sense. The lady you followed is an evil lady. She knows something about the disappearance of Eve. She runs an evil hotel where people disappear. Please come off it. Haven't you ladies heard about um, the temple in this town called the Temple of the Sexy Vampires? Temple of the Sexy Vampires? <laughs> What's that? What does that mean? Is that what she told you? Come on, stop asking me about what people told me. I want to realize that I'm among the mighty in this town. Come on, stop castigating a lady you don't even know and um, running um, someone's business down. I have this feeling that your boyfriend has something to do with this. 
because he's not telling us anything tangible to make us trace the disappearance of Eve. Gosh. <laughs> well, uh, the little I've heard about Eve, you know, to be factual with you guys, eh? Eve must have belonged to that temple. And you know, these um, members of this temple have a special way of doing things, you know. They don't intermingle easily. And I believe um, Eve must have done what she ought not to have done. And they killed her. So always say what you know and don't run down people's businesses, please. Hyacinth, who told you about this temple? And where's the location of this temple? Listen, girls. As far as I'm concerned, I've satisfied both of you. And I'm out of here. Hi, Saint. What? Sorry, I don't know what you're thinking right now, but I think I sent is hiding something from us. Hiding something like what? <laughs> it's possible that Hyacinth has slept with this evil lady and I've ordered him not to say anything to anybody. Don't you get it? It's that lady that loses. I mean, how could she possibly open up herself to my man that easily? I don't think so. And besides, I saw the men she sampled as her boys and they are far, far richer than Hyacinth. So I don't think she could sleep with him. Yeah. I think that maybe she took him out on something else and that's what we'll still figure out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These girls are there me. Why are you resisting me? My children have gone to school and my wife has gone to the market. As far as I'm concerned, two of us are the only two people in the house. We can easily play right here on the sofa. Why are you withdrawing yourself? Why are you resisting me? Why are you saying no? You took me to the bush. You raped me. I thought I could keep it quiet. I've been keeping it quiet all this while because I know I, I know what it means. Now I can no longer keep it quiet. So what are you planning? No, are you trying to tell me that you want to open up to people that have slept with you? If you try that, you have, you have destroyed yourself. I am not the only uncle that is playing with the niece. This is something that is common in almost all the families. There is always one uncle that is playing with one niece. And all these people, they are keeping their own secret. Why would you want to open up the one that we started in, in, in our family here? If you tell anybody that I have been sleeping with you, you have destroyed yourself. Because people will see you as an abominable girl. No man will ever want to marry you. Tell me, is there any man in his, in his right senses that want to marry a woman that is sleeping with your uncle? You are cursed if you, if you tell anybody about it. There is only one way forward. For you to just relax. And we continue playing as secret lovers that we have become. And I will continue to provide for you. Until that time when one man will come to marry you. Because as far as I'm concerned, you must have your husband. You are a very beautiful husband. I don't need any native daughter to tell me that next time my, my niece will be, will be married one day. But we need to continue to play. Eh? Come now. Uncle, Uncle, stop. Oh. You, you have to stop this rubbish now. I'm pregnant. What did you say? I'm sure you heard me right. I am pregnant. Despite all the hot drinks I've been drinking to see if to remove it, it has refused to, to, to go. It's still there. Yeah. I remember. So, what are you planning? Don't tell me that you're planning to keep the pregnancy. Because that, that would be very stupid. Pregnancy from your uncle, you want to keep it. It's not possible. You will destroy yourself. You must remove the pregnancy. Because that thing you have there is the very definition of unwanted pregnancy and it must go. Abortion in this area is 5,000 naira. But I'm going to give you 10,000 naira. The reason is to make it impossible for any doctor to resist it. Once they see, see money, they will be able to do anything. You go to any of these private hospitals, any of these clinics, go to a doctor and ensure that this thing is removed. In fact, let me because you Shh. 
She couldn't have just dismissed me just like that. I mean, there must be a reason behind that. After all, I gave it to her the way she wanted it. And she liked it. So, what could have been the problem? I am so disappointed, finally, that you are a 419. Why would you pick up your call and not say a word? And, um, who is this, please? You know, I want to give you another opportunity to prove yourself to me. If you manage to sustain me to orgasm this one time, I'll give you a million naira. Yeah, I know immediately that this is Gladys talking. And I want to ask you a question. Please, what do you want from me? I mean, you've threatened me with all the powers which you've acquired from the temple. And I've decided to be on my own. I don't have powers at all. So please, Gladys, what exactly do you want from me again? I saw the way you dribbled those lousy girls last night. I must tell you, I'm impressed. I mean, come on, come off it. We discussed in the hostel room and you weren't there. So how could you have said such? Do you want to come to where I am or do you want me to come to where you are? <laughs> come on, of course you don't know where I am. I mean, you don't even see me. I mean, how could you come to where I am? It's not possible. You were sitting outside an open bed drinking Gouda. And you were putting on a t-shirt with Timberland inscribed on it. As a matter of fact, you just removed your sunglasses. Excuse me, Gladys, this is scary. Are you sure you're a normal human being? Or have I been sleeping with a ghost? You know what? I'll be with you shortly. Come on. I mean, hello? What have I got myself into? Let it not be that I've been sleeping with the spirit unknowingly. Oh God, I'm finished. I am finished. Come, 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 come. Come. Let me have the car keys. I have an important business I need to handle. I have to go alone. Okay, boys. Take care of the house. And I'm sure she's driving there all alone to go and fuck the guy. If that's a mission for real, tell me, is there any problem with that? How is it your business? I'm surprised you're not bothered. Can't you get it? She's undermining us. Just look at you. What are we doing here? Yes, she's losing around the whole town looking for a guy that will make her feel like a woman. Come on, Slick. Let me tell you, I am not boasting. I am not bragging. I am far, far better than those guys that's always making her feel bad. I am better. Listen to me, Slick. If I can handle her just for one night, she will ask me for three days. I know myself. Let me get this straight. Are you trying to tell me that if she opens her legs for you, you're going to screw her? Why not? Not only that, 
I will make sure I make it a memorable moment for her. And she will cherish it all her life. It has become imperative that I must guide you so that you don't go and make a deadly mistake. What do you mean a deadly mistake? You know, by service, you have become a member of the Temple of the Sexy Vampires. She has initiated you into the temple. And that is why she gave us access to her privacy. She knows quite well that we can't betray her. And that is because you need to understand that betraying her is tantamount to we betraying ourselves. Uh, 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 Slick, I am sorry you are talking a different thing here. We're not talking about betrayal because she knows very well that I cannot betray her. What we're talking about here is a man and a woman relationship. It's like, I have made passes at her. But she will always ignore me. It's like, just look at you. Look at, look, just look at the both of us. My anger is that she's losing around the whole town looking for guys while we're here. Why? What for? We have become one blood with her. Members of the temple of the sexy vampires do not sleep with one another. I mean, must not have any sexual understanding with your blood relatives. This will automatically cut the flow of fortune from the master. And everything is going to keep working anti-clockwise. Yes. It's going to destroy so many things. So I'm going to advise you, my brother. Never you lust after a mother. Because she's not going to throw herself on you. Of course, she knows we are hot, but come on. She can never do anything that is going to desecrate the temple. Okay? She, she told you all that? I want you to realize you have become a member of the order. Look at you. You wealthy? Yes. And of course, I know you like nothing. But I beg you, do not start something that can destroy you. Never you make that mistake. Honestly, you're scaring me. I have every reason to believe you're not an ordinary woman. So, what do you want from me again? Oh, honey, I am a woman. That's exactly why I still come to you. Why not look for some other men that are mightier than I am? Come on, you know. You know I'm an orphan. And um, definitely I don't have anyone to defend me in case I run into troubles with you. You know one thing, sweetheart. You're a sincere man. I like you for that. I will not harm you. But you have to promise me one thing. That you would keep all the secrets of life that you know close to your heart. No one must know. And I will turn your life around. If you're doing all these things simply to get me to have sex with you again this night, please, I can assure you it's not gonna work. Honestly, I now see you as a strange woman. And it will be difficult for my man who to respond. You know one thing, my dear Heisand. Just agree that you're coming with me and leave the activation of your manhood to me to handle. Honestly, you're getting me scared. And I feel like shouting and calling for help here. <laughs> oh, God. Why would you want to shout? Why? Oh, God, that would be childish. You know what? I will not fall in love with you because I am not allowed to fall in love. But I want to make a proposition for you. You would be my permanent partner that I can call any time, at any point in time. You would answer me and take care of me all through the night. Is it a deal? Honestly, the money you gave me yesterday is still very much intact. In fact, as we are talking right now, it is my card there. So I can just pick my key get to the car, bring it up, and hand it over to you just exactly the way it was when you handed it over to me. No. Listen to me, Heiser. Wait. Sit down. 
I know very well that your body is yearning for me. And I'm gonna answer it. I'll give you one million now. This minute. If only you go with me. I'll turn your life around. Listen, I'm still not interested. You listen to me, I sent wait. Okay. 1.5 million will be yours if only you go home with me. It's in my boot. This minute, cash. It's yours. Okay, okay, okay. If I must do it, two million or no deal. Deal? I'll give it to you. Immediately. If only you agree to go home with me. You know, as a matter of fact, we will not go to the hotel anymore. We will go to my house. Because I want to have you all through the night. No distractions. Anyone. <laughs> it's okay. But on one condition. Which is? That I must have the money cash. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't tell me you're afraid. Oh no. You know what? I am not an ingrid. I keep to my own side of the bargain. Hmm? I'll give you anything you want, whatever you want, I'll give it to you. Just agree that you would make me so comfortable this night. Alright, no problem. Is it well, a deal? Let me take your word. Is that I became very worried. I, I was thinking if maybe there was complication or something with the abortion. Because my wife and my children are back in the house. How did it go? It was successful. Thank God. The doctor said I should stay away from domestic work, that I need to rest a lot. I don't know how that would be possible with your wife. Come on, that is not a problem. The important thing is that the unwanted pregnancy has been removed. Leave my wife, I will handle my wife. Let's go. Leave me! What? I doubt if I'll ever forgive you for luring me into this kind of sin. Esther, are, are we going to stand here in the middle of the road and be talking about sin? What is sin in this? Because we are playing? Listen to me. I'm your uncle. You are my niece. Forget what happens. I want the best for you. I will always be there for you. Let's go. Leave me! What is the matter with her? Is she involved in the motor accident? Olushi. We have to be very, very grateful to God at the end of like this. If not by the grace of God, this sister you are seeing here would have been in motor by now. I'm telling you. So what happened to her? She fainted along the road as she was coming back from the errand I sent her earlier in the day. Some good men of Amago saw her where she fainted and they took her to the hospital. And they came here and they called me. I went to see the doctor. And the man told me that Esther is suffering from one sickness that... This long, long medical sickness that I can't even pronounce the name. I can't even remember the name, but it's very long. I don't need to bother myself. The final thing that the man said is that Esther has been walking too much. She has been walking herself to the bone. That she must be allowed to rest. Mm -hmm. That's why I brought her back. Let her just continue to rest. If rest is the problem, she can get enough of it in this house. If that is the case, let Esther at least prepare her own food. Oh, no, why are you like this? Why are you such wicked? I just told you that somebody needs medical attention and they say it's only rest. They didn't say bring money, just rest. They say it depends if you cook her own food. Why, why are you like this? Why are you like this? You were seen before and people were cooking for you. You have to be very careful how you treat people because you never can tell where you will be tomorrow. Oh, no, Jesus. Timothy, I am sorry, but I have this feeling that Esther, this Esther, Esther is lying. And I'm not prepared to allow her to make a fool of me. Nobody's making a fool of you. You're the one that is making a fool of yourself. By being very wicked. Somebody that is sick is the person that is going to cook her own food and you are there in the house. Why, why are you like this? Timothy, if the doctor says that Esther needs to rest, let Esther rest. At least after resting, she'll go to the kitchen and prepare her own food. Am I the cook? I, I'm not her cook. Let her cook her own food. Ushilora. I'm more. Clap for yourself, Ushilora. What, what are you saying? Your name is Oluchi. You say your name is Oluchi. You are a Christian. 
Yeah, tr church goer. Somebody is sick now. Somebody is down. And the person needs attention. Needs to rest. And you can't provide the rest. The person should go and cook her own food. What are you even cooking? Is it this thing you're cooking that we're managing? No. I said, oh, Buluchi, you cook the joker. Listen to me. You already have been saying what I can see earlier. See, If you can't cook for her, I cook for her myself. See, I call you, babe. What are you doing? Look, look, up, Tama. Talk to rest. She needs to rest. Saying your revelation. I, I, I saw his face clearly. The one of the men that even though the flaunts as her voice, I saw him. He practically stabbed High Satan. And we were helpless. We were just helpless. We were helpless. Oh. Are you sure about this? Yes. Then we have to do something about this. Hey. Hello? Hi, sir. Where are you? I mean, what kind of question is that? We are at your place and your neighbor just confirmed that you are now at home. Where are you? Come on, excuse me. I mean, you should know you're, that you're just my girlfriend. You're never my wife. I mean, how dare you go about nosing around of my whereabouts? Hi, sir. I just had a dream. And I can tell you that... Oh, come on. Just call that dream. You see, I'm not interested in whatever dream you've had. Neither am I even interested in the one you're gonna have in time to come. See, I can take care of myself. I'm fine, and I can assure you that I will always be fine. Come on. I can, I can tell you that you're walking into a deadly trap. Hey, hey, hold it there, woman. You know what? Just get rid of me, and please stop calling me anymore. Thank you. Hello, hello, Hi, Saint. What exactly did he say? What did he say? He didn't even allow me to talk. You see, I'm beginning to feel as if I'm throwing myself at a man that doesn't even want me. And I can tell you that this is the end. Seriously, this is the end. Hey, stop this. Why would you give up on a man you truly love just because one evil lady has blinded him? Now listen to me. This revelation came to you because God knows both of you have something in common. You cannot just give up just like that. How do you want me to continue when he's not even ready to listen? How? You see, I'm sick and tired of this whole thing called relationship. I'm just sick and tired of all of them. Please. Chi, always remember that love covers all things. And if you truly love Isens, you will always stand in the gap for him. Have you ever thought that if he's under the influence of something mightier than him, I will surely need you to assist him regain back his senses? Please. Do not abandon him now. Please! Okay?
Where do you think you're going to? Hey, stop there. Don't move. Um, I, 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 I woke up and she was down there. Is that the reason why you want to sneak out? Uh, not really. You see, she brought me in here so that we could spend some time together. And since she's gone, I think the only option for me is to leave. No, 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 no. She will be disappointed if she comes back and finds that you're no longer there waiting for her. So, just chill. So, where is she? She's in a meeting with some very important personalities. Yeah. Go back to the room. She's going to be with you soon, okay? Okay, okay. Um, but, guys, please, I don't know if I could join you guys here. I mean, it's very, very scared up there. I'm, I'm too lonely, so, and I can afford to stay there alone. Why not? Just relax and make yourself comfortable. No problem. Just relax. Chill. See that, that's it. So, be careful. Have a rum, whiskey, wine, gin, or brandy. Um, brandy would do. That means, but it's a family. Alright, we can make do with this. I think brandy too. I'll just go ahead and take your time, okay? Make yourself comfortable. Relax, come on. Come on, take, take some drinks. Thank you. Alright. I sent. You say you're a branded man. The monitoring you brought you don't be taking any drink. Are you sure you're truly a branded man? <laughs> yes, definitely yes. You know. But I'm just concerned about her. I mean, I'm here for her. Uh, is she not going to be coming back again this night? Why not? The truth still remains that she doesn't sleep outside. So definitely she must be back tonight. Why not go up there and wait for her? Tonight is your lucky night, ma'am. Go upstairs, relax. She's gonna come meet you, okay? She's coming yeah, to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go up. Good night. Come on, relax. Go upstairs, you know, relax, chill, take your time. And I assure you she's coming to meet you. Okay, cool. All right? All right, good night. All right. Enjoy yourself. Cheers. <laughs> Where did you go? I never told you I was going anywhere, did I? Your workers told me that you went for a meeting with very important personalities. Well, yes, but that was in this house too. The so-called VIP left a long time ago and I came into the room. And my love of her was nowhere to be found. There's something very, very scary about you. Honestly. You know, wise people do not get scared over anything that has been revealed. I have already revealed myself to you. So there shouldn't be any cause for you to be scared over anything. Make up your mind to be mine and everlasting will be your sons of excitement. Wow. Uh, honestly, and you know what? I must confess that you're very much miles ahead of others. And um, I must say I'm quite lucky to have found you. Come over here and walk on me. Come on. <laughs> what was that rubbish you were discussing with this slip? Huh? Why are you looking at slip? Because I, I discussed a lot of things with him, so I don't know the what you're talking about, ma. You are lusting after me. Jesus. You want to have sex with me. You think I didn't know? 
You actually alleged that you can do it better. So tell me, Hawk, what exactly can you do? Your Majesty, I believe he forgot himself. You know, he came up with the idea, the topic yet. But I explained everything to him. You know, the oneness, the confraternity, and the affiliation with the temple to him. He's already vacated himself and I believe he's not going to do it again. It's, I know, I won't try it again. You think I don't know what you people do in this house? The way you smuggle in women into my house? You think I don't know? Sometimes four of them, sometimes even more. But I never confronted both of you. Why? Because I know you men are sexually active and need women in your lives. Concentrate on those women and stop looking at me. Your Majesty, I am sorry. I promise it won't happen again. Slick here has already explained everything I need to know. Please, it will never happen again. Oh yes, it will never happen again. Never. Even if I became so drunk and I invite you to help me, to take me, don't you ever do it. Because if you ever take me, you're a dead man. Do not walk into an open grave. Read my lips this minute. I am an open grave. Good night, boys. Good night. Millionaires? Come on. Learn how to follow her slow. Patience, man. Patience. Take a drink. Patience. Take your drink. It's okay. What type of life am I living? Who will believe that I was raped and impregnated by my own uncle? Now he has aided me in committing abortion. How long will this continue? Uncle Timothy has made me his sex machine. And very soon, until Luchi will find out. That evil woman that hates me because I refused to marry her tailor would publish the news in the whole town. Where would I hide my face? I have my admission letter and no one is ready to pay my fees. I must make a move. Auntie Julie will surely be happy to receive me in her house in Enugu. Even if I find somebody to marry in Enugu, he would be a learned man and not a tailor in Gua Market. I don't want to believe that you wish for real. Why are you still awake at this somebody hour of night? Eh? Auntie, I don't know what is wrong with me. I just cannot sleep. Mm. Do you mind telling me the name of this sickness that you're suffering from? Eh? Talk to me woman to woman. What name did the doctor call it? Um. Just as if I knew that this is where you are coming. Why are you disturbing this girl? Consistently. The doctor said that she needs rest and that is what she's doing. Having rest. Why are you always pestering this girl? What's your problem? No. I came to talk to her woman to woman. Why are you interfering? I'm interfering. Talk to woman to woman. She is a woman and you are a woman. And to the best of my knowledge, none of you is planning to die any soon. There's always time for you to talk woman to woman. Whatever thing you want to call it. Leave this girl to rest. Stop disturbing this girl. Let her recover first and you have all the time to ask her all the nonsense questions. Leave her to rest. Leave her to rest. Leave her to rest. Leave her to rest. Leave her to rest.
Uncle, I don't know how to say this, so. But there's a problem. What problem? Uncle, I think I have complications. Complications? What do you mean by complications? Even though they said they had removed it, I still have a feeling that it's in there. I want to go to a specialist to be sure that they actually removed it before we now be sitting here and the stomach will be growing. Have you seen the reason why I am amongst the people that believe that the quality of education has declined abysmal in this country? Look at ordinary abortion. That colonial nurses and all these quack chemist operators used to do perfectly in those days without complications. Now so-called medical doctors will do abortion and there will be complications? <laughs> Uncle, are we going what to... kind of nonsense is that? I mean, are we going to sit here and fight over doctors? Or you want to give me the money, you're going to give me the money to go to the specialist or not? Esther, we have all the times to talk about all these useless people. Look at the time, it's 3.30. You say you're going tomorrow. We have all the time to talk about them. Uncle, will you give me the money tomorrow or not? I will give you the money, but I want you to agree with me that the doctors we have these days are no longer doctors. These are just glorified uh, chemist operators. Uncle, what they are, they are. I have food on the fire. Where would there be complications? I'm off to the hospital. Okay. Hospital again? What for? Mm. I didn't tell you. Really? She's due for checkup. Yes, you. Be gone. Esther, wait. Wait, wait. I want to go with you. That's okay. Auntie, don't worry. I can handle it. I can take care of myself. Handle what? I want to go with you. I want to know this illness that is making you so weak. I want to know the name of this illness. Um, Auntie, you've not even had your bath it's yet. Don't worry. It will take me time. Hey, Esther, I don't know why you're still standing up and talking. Be good before you get to the hospital and you see a lot of queue. Cool. Try to come back early. I'll come back early, sir. Come back early. Yes, sir. What's going on? You're going to see you. You're going to see you. Where are you? No, I don't know. But I have this feeling that Esther is seeing a man in this neighborhood. Why are you always talking nonsense? Esther, my own brother's daughter, seeing a man in this neighborhood. Do you think we are, we are irresponsible in our family? How can you say anything like that? I don't know. But I must get to the root of this. And if my suspicion is correct, I will personally tear Esther into pieces in this house. Ubu. I'll kill her. Ubu. Nena ya no. Ubu. Ubu mwade. Yeah. Um, I would like to introduce ourselves formally for purposes of protocol. Y'all know me, my name is Raymond, Captain Raymond. I am a retired naval officer. This is Miss Gladys, the Iron Lady of the city. Miss Gladys, Chief Tim, is a man of affluence and unprecedented power. He is the one that requested for the 12-year-old virgin. Okay. Well, I have discussed with my matron in charge of my orphanage. But she insists that she sees you one-on-one -on -one so that she can ascertain the fact why you laid emphasis on a virgin. Chief Raymond here assured me that you don't disappoint. 
So why would you allow your matron to be asking you useless questions? From the look of things, you find here, looks like someone that is hot-tempered. So it's best you tell him that if he doesn't answer my questions, each and every one of them, I will not deliver any girl. Captain Raymond, what is happening here? You told me that this lady is a businesswoman. Of course I am a businesswoman. Let me tell you something. The way you see me here, I am into everything. Everything you can think of. It's in your best interest that you tell me exactly what you want. So that I can know how to help you. So tell me, what exactly do you need a virgin for? Do you need a virgin for your ritual? Or do you need a virgin that you can turn into your sex slave? This is unbelievable. Is this how you people do business here? Why is she asking me nonsense? Okay, okay. I would not want us to spend too much time over this issue. Chief Tim here murdered his wife because she was a lesbian. She developed into a terrible lesbian to the point that she cannot allow any man to put hands on her anymore. He murdered her out of frustration. Now the lady is going everywhere destroying his businesses and contacts. That's true. She almost made me a wreck. The problem now is that she is appearing to her other lesbian colleagues telling them that she didn't just die, that she was murdered. Many of them are disturbing me to trace who murdered my wife. And I know that very soon, she will tell them that I am the one that killed her. Well, he finally met with a witch doctor who advised him to bring a virgin. And this said virgin will be used to stop her from appearing anywhere. That is why we are here, ma'am. Very well then. <clears throat> I will assist you just for one reason. Any condition. I hate lesbians. Because they abandon the original thing and wallow in junk. Well, you will do exactly what he has told you to do. And I'll deliver you a girl. You will? Now you are talking like a businesswoman. <sighs> and I will not hesitate to do business with you. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. I'm sorry to bother you guys, but I'm, I'm new in town, so I'm looking for this address. I don't know if you can help direct me to, to the place, if you know. You're almost where you are going to. Don't just ask any other person. Walk down straight. The third street by your right, that is your street. Then locate number 16, and that is exactly where you're going to. Thank you very much. God bless you. You're Thank welcome. you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I don't understand you know what just did. What did I do? If you're asking me what did I do. But if you're asking me what did I do. You know say so that that direction will get that again around the direction. You will sleep that be. You are a fool. Come with me. When they call me that fool, they don't like him. Come, come, carry on this one. Idiot. Don't come after us or you are dead. No, no, please give me my bag now. <laughs> no, no, look at this. Give me my bag, give me my bag. Please, no, please. Please, no, no. Please, no. Please, no. You may 
argue this, but it's the truth. Ever since you met that woman, your life has changed. And um, so do you have any problem with that? You see, the only constant thing in life is change. And I mean, um, you should be happy with me. Hi, sent your life did not change for better. I mean, you're slowly walking into an early grave with your eyes wide open. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And I've been wondering, where is your sense of decency, Hyacinth? Honestly, if you continue this way, I might be compelled to warn the gate man not to open the gate for you again. Alright, fine, whatever. Are you now ready to listen to the terrible dream I had? Come on, I've warned you before. I'm not interested in whatever dream you've had. I'm not a dreamer. I believe in reality. See, all my life I've um, been exposed to where men give women. So things have changed now. Meaning? Meaning that now I have a woman that gives me. She gives me now because she appreciates me. Which you never appreciated me. Hyacinth, is that what you think? That I don't appreciate you? You see, if ever you appreciated me, I've never noticed it. See, the woman you castigate appreciates me. And then, um, officially, I'm calling it quits with you. Come on, get rid of me. Stop seeing yourself as my babe. We don't have future together. So why not go out there and find future for yourself? I said, you see, you've been doing everything possible to make me cry. But it will not work. I've grown to learn that Except the door closes, another one will not open. Go ahead and savour your exuberance. But have it at the back of your mind that whenever you run into troubled waters, never you in your wildest dream come to me. Dismiss that girl and come with me. I want to change your life. I want to give you an experience of your life. Thank God I didn't dismiss her finally. She did herself. Now I'm ready for the wonderful experience with this charmer. Ready to get my life changed. And it's gonna be a wonderful experience. Wow! That's good. I think I believe that this is why would Esther disappear without the truth? Nan, did you see anybody that says she saw her? The only thing I can tell you now is that Esther didn't go to any of the hospitals around here. I have searched everywhere, looked everywhere, and Esther is nowhere to be found. <laughs> it's not down to the same thing I was saying. That that stupid girl has been seeing a man in this village. And it is possible that she connived with the man to leave this village. And will she leave this village to which place? That is not possible. <laughs> we are talking about my niece here. The only issue for my late brother that was entrusted under my care. <laughs> Do we miss it? Nowhere to be found. Oluji, I will be very angry with everybody if anything happens to Esther. <laughs> if you listen to me, I will ask you to forget that matter. You see that stupid girl Esther? She has been planning this for a long time. I'm not surprised. If anything happens to her, Mama, you'll be the one everybody is going to be blaming. Hey, why would everybody blame me? Am I the one that asked her to leave? Eh? It was your necessary pressure that, um, that made her to run away, forcing her to marry a man she doesn't like. Ezeku, please, you see your son. Ask him not to go outside and stay this rubbish show. Why are you talking? Oh, I, I should tell you what. You me? I should tell you what. Are you telling me that you see our son, okay, as an imbecile who cannot make observations <sighs> and conclude something? He knows what he's saying. The young man is making a point. Why would you make the house very uncomfortable for Esther? Before it is yours. If Esther has gone missing, you are the one that we must be planting. 
Why would you ask me to uh, to, 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 to tell you to, to shut up? Why would you shut up? Why? It's very obvious that father and son are here to protect me. I won't fall into that trap. I won't fall into that trap. If you beat your face very close, I will just punch you. I'm going to 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 punch you. Esther may not come back to this house again. She may not come back to this house again. Daddy has sold your house. She must surely come back to us because she doesn't have any other place to go. Hey! Hey! Let this be the very last time you will say this nonsense. Your daddy sold sold, sold, sold anything. You're not proud. Your daddy sold something. I don't want to be. I don't want to be. So who's the negro? So the negro is your daughter. Let us find it out. Want to be? Are you going to be? No, no. It's okay. You know what? My mother would like to see you. Your mother? Yeah, yeah, she's right in the car waiting for you. What did I do now? I'm just walking it's on the okay. road. I just want to let you know that you are safe, okay? Let's go to the car. She's waiting for you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. Yeah, I see you're troubled. Why were you crying on the road? Madam, I was just walking. I was just walking. I didn't do anything. It's okay. It's okay. Come right in. Huh? There's no need to be scared. Come in. Come, come inside the car, okay? In, yes. Inside? Come inside the car. Good. Good. Listen to me, sir. Let me cut the long story short. I don't talk too much. What I will collect from you last is seven million dollars. So if you're game with the whole thing, you pay in the said amount into my account. But if you're not, you forget it. And but, but please stop bugging my phone. The Iron Lady of the City. Oh. Oh. My dear, you can say that again. <sighs> we, the sexy ladies, are running this town. But the men, they are permanently doomed. In trouble. <laughs> so, why didn't you tell anybody you have a new housemaid? Wow. This automatically means that you are coming from my place. Of course I'm coming from your house. And I met this very charming young lady. And from the look of things, she's qualified to be in the sisterhood. Is that what you're planning? You know one thing I hate about you? You are too mischievous. Mischievous? And why would you say that? Well, as a matter of fact, the girl you saw at my place is just the frustrated young girl I'm trying to help. You know, for her to pick up her bits and pieces back together. Well, I met her by the special act and I'm convinced we can train her. Train her? In what and in what? 
Well, I got her an admission into the university. She downloaded her credentials and I'm impressed. I'm impressed with everything, everything about her, even her level of intelligence. It's superb. Okay, now let me give you one advice. If you do not know this young lady, then do not get her close to you. Because a lady with such intelligence like that could master certain things about you and things that could bring the sisterhood down. No, Dad. They don't just call me Iron Lady for nothing. No. So shall we attend to the business that brought you here? My bad. Concerning that lady, she is really proving difficult. Huh? She's too stubborn. I think we have to do something about her. Yes, uh, come in. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon, young lady. How may I help you? What's well, sit. Thank you, sir. Um, look, sir, my name is Esther Ikenna. I was directed to come here for my registration, sir. You were directed by, Glad by Gladys, the iron lady? Yes, she's my aunt. Oh, you are welcome. Yes, everything about your admission has been perfected. And all that needs to be paid has been paid. All you need to do is proceed to the University Medical Center to conduct a mandatory medical examination to ascertain your health and fitness level. Is that okay? Yes, and a report should be sent to this office straight. Thank you, sir. Um, sir, please, do I need any papers for this examination? Sure, sure. Uh, you will be seeing my secretary at the outer office. Uh, but before you get there, I will call her. Thank you, sir. Yes. Your lectures have commenced in earnest. I need to focus on your studies so you don't lag behind. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. I mean, I'm short of words. I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. For all that you needed to say has been said on your behalf by somebody mightier than you. <laughs> I can say you have Abraham as your father. Um, I wouldn't say that. I know what that means. But I, I'm, I'm impressed, sir. Thank you. Thank you so very much. It's all right. It's all right. You've been good. Huh? All right. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes, it's all right. Now listen to me, Alahaji Idris. I am not going to waste an additional time with you on this call. I have instructed Senator Okun on what to do. So please don't call this phone if you have not done what you are expected to do. Good day. Oh my god, you're the greatest. You are the greatest. You're the best ever. Oh my god, I don't know what I would have done without you. Thank god I met you. Thank you. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? It has happened. Look, everything has been perfected. I am now a bona fide university undergraduate. Oh my god, I don't... All oh, thanks to you. Thank you so much. I can't believe this. There is no need to get so agitated over nothing. Just go in there, take a shower, and have some rest. Um, if you have the strength, you know the vegetable soup you prepared for me the other day? I liked it. I'd like you to prepare it again. Yeah. You can take money from the drawer. Take as much as you like. Just make yourself comfortable. And always remember, this house is like your house. Let me promise you one thing. This vegetable will be the best you've ever had. I promise you that. You deserve more than that. Thank you. Well, I am going out. What would you like me to buy for No, me? nothing. I'm fine. I'm fine. Trust me. I'm, seriously, I have too much. I have so many in such a short period of time. I mean, I, I, would, I never thought I would have it. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Um, I know exactly what to buy for you. Just take care of the house, okay? Oh my god! It's okay. Look at me! Uh -oh. Wait, Jesus. Look at me! Wow! The Iron Lady of the City. Huh? God, why didn't you meet this woman before now? God bless you! Woo! Hello, my dear. Good day. Hello, Ma. I'm calling to inform you that the doctor is true with the vaccination. Another treatment to the children. Oh, he's already getting worked up. Why is he getting himself all worked up? Is it because of his money? Yes, because of his money. He said he's already running behind his schedule and I could see the frustration in his face. Is he there with you? No, ma. He's at the visitor's parlor. Okay, good. Um, take him into your office and I'll be there in five minutes. Yes, ma. 
He did a very good job and I want him to live with happiness. Oh, Metron, you talk too much, okay? Take him into your office and do what I told you to do. I'll be there in five minutes. Okay, ma. Hope, put the car to maximum use. Sleepy. What does that mean? Speed up and be careful. I'm maintaining my cause because this place is an orphanage. You people are taking me for granted. Honestly, I'm not finding it funny. I understand what you're saying. You do not saying. understand. I understand. I said you do not understand Dr. me. Doctor, I've already called my madame. And I know she would soon be here. Understand the look. How much is your money? Seventy-six thousand naira. Here is hundred thousand naira. You can keep the changes, my token. And it's an apology for time wasted. All right, thank you. Sincerely appreciated. I need to get back to my husband. You've not told me your name. Oh, forgive me. Dr. Hyde. Dr. Hyde. What a sweet name. What a sweet name. I really don't know why you're in a hurry to leave. Why would you want to leave something mightier than your hospital? Why not stay a bit longer? Something mightier than my hospital. I don't understand that. Like I said, I need to go now. There are people waiting for me in the hospital. Did you come here with your car? Oh yes, I came with my car. Beautiful. Fantastic. Well, I will dismiss my boys. I want to ride with you. You can take me to somewhere I would relax and we could talk. Uh, I don't think you heard me clearly. I said there are people waiting for me. Patients who may die if I don't get there on time. You know, people only die when God wants them to die. You cannot save anyone. My name is Gladys, the Iron Lady of this town. I want to ride in your car, Dr. Hyde. You know, money has this habit of talking while bullshit figures out a way to work. Only play by the rules. Or rather, play by my rules. And money will talk in your life in so many languages. In all the years you spent in the university to qualify as a medical doctor, I'm sure so many people must have told you how sexy and charming you look. Could this possibly be the reason you asked me to leave the patients who are waiting for me in the hospital? People who may die. What kind of woman are you? When you make reference to those sick men and women, you give me the impression you don't like me, and I don't like that. I'm a very busy man. I'll give you just one minute to tell me why you brought me here. Very well then. Here is two million naira. 
I check the Sasuke with a splash. And what is the money for? You don't need to tell me that you're a principled man. Because it's written all over you. And that's the more reason why I like you. You know, principled men are relatively unsexed. Because they hardly talk to women. I want you to spend the night with me. And that's my offer to that request. I want to give it to you just the way you like it. And I'm sure as a medical doctor, you have all the experience to handle me like no one has ever done. Please don't say that. You are a disgrace to womanhood. What do you take me for? A debased man who is morally bankrupt and can entice with your soiled spondylics. Huh? Do I look like a gicolo to you? Answer me. Do I look like a gicolo to you? Do not provoke me next time. Remember I came in your car and I'm sure you wouldn't leave a lady would you? If you do not want to call your boys to pick you, that is your business. You can sleep here. I like them better when they start talking tough from the beginning. It turns me on. There must be something about this girl that I need to know. Senators, bank managers, big time politicians, retired military men, and in fact, almost all the men that matter are at her beck and call. Just from the money she's giving me for housekeep, I have saved close to two million naira. Why is she not ready to teach me what she does? Why are you dressed like this? You know, I have come to the conclusion that you could be trusted. So I want to introduce you to what I know. Uh, Auntie... Auntie, but what it is that you know that you want to teach me? You know, men would always speak in prose. The proverbs that I like most is the one that says, in the house where masquerades sing, human beings are there. Do you know what they mean by that? Um, well, masquerade, and I know that in my village, masquerade is an exclusive topic for men. And I don't want to discuss masquerade. Well, I want you to understand tonight that nothing goes for nothing. You have wined and dined with me. I want to introduce you to a temple. A temple called the Temple of Sexy Vampires. 
where you will be connected to masters of money where you'll be made a billionaire and where you would have the opportunity to step on every man that crossed your path negatively Auntie Auntie, you know that you remember that I'm an orphan I don't have anything or anyone to donate to any temple <laughs> Don't worry about that When we get to that bridge we would definitely cross it. But for now, always remember that I love you. That's why I want you to go through this journey. You'll be very happy. You'll thank me. Trust me. Just follow me. Shall we? <laughs> From here we shall descend to the abysses of wealth, where Sacramento, our mother most spiritual, will be so delighted to welcome you into the sisterhood. But first, you must drink of the blood of the just. No, no, I... No, I... Look, I, from what I know, abysses, it's, it's just like hellfire. Look, I, 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 I don't... I don't I don't want to have anything to do with hellfire. I, 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 I don't. I, 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 no, I, I don't. Do you want to be a billionaire and rise above all your enemies? Jesus, you're good. Um. I, 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 I want to have money. I, I, I want to be called amongst the wealthy uh, no I, I i don't want to have anything to do with with, with with evil no now shut up esther and listen to me carefully money is a satanic tool created by him to manipulate the earth if you want money you must submit to the supremacy of satan auntie let me explain something to you sincerely look i, I was exposed early to the holy trinity of god the father the Son and the Holy Spirit. No, I am not ready for this. And no, I, I am not going to surrender to the devil. I can't do it. I'm sorry. And so let me go to the village. You have reached the point of no return. Standing before you, I have no conscience. I am a real definition of evil. You must project with me this night, or else I will kill you. And if I kill you, there will be no cops to Please no now, Auntie, please no. Let me go back to the village. Oh Jesus, I don't want to drink it. I can't. Take it. No. Drink of it. Please. Take it this minute and drink of it. <sighs> Run the city. 
the men are permanently in trouble. in trouble. Blood is water. It, it is, is the water, water of life. I am not going to ask you if you are ready. Because you have already drunk the vampire blood of this temple of sexy vampires. That means you are already our member. We do not expose future to our members because we believe that any person who has seen his or her future has no future. I will expose your past to you because it is your past that will guide your future. My past is shrouded with misery. I do not ever want to visit my past again, ever. There are things you do not know about your past. I am going to reveal them to you and you shall be in a better position to know your way forward. Timothy, my brother. You can do As you know, my brother, I am not comfortable what I've heard about your present. About me? Yes. What do you do here? <laughs> In this era, when people are talking of setting their masquerades ablaze, I've been given to understand that you've uh, connived with some disgruntled elements of this village to create deadly masquerade. Is that what you're calling deadly? I don't know the people you're listening to. The masquerade we are trying to create here is not a deadly masquerade, as you think. It's a very lovely masquerade, very beautiful masquerade we saw in Omasienu dancing. Mm -hmm. And we went to Omasienu to negotiate with the owners of the masquerade after analyzing the masquerade. And now we are about to bring the masquerade here in our land here. It's a, it's a very lovely masquerade. It dances like the mermaid. And to tell you how good this masquerade is, women are encouraged to file out in their large numbers yeah. to touch the masquerade as the, as the masquerade is dancing. And to show you the benefit, the original reason why we are bringing the masquerade, all the women that will touch this masquerade after six months, all of them will be married. Now, now, can you look around and see the number of women that are roaming around this our land that are not married, that are actually on the verge of entering menopause as single ladies? This masquerade is good for all of them. All of them will be touching them with this masquerade, and all of them will be getting married. It's not a good masquerade. That is the, I want you, that is the very wonderful masquerade we are trying to bring around. Timothy, are you out of your senses? And then, all of you that are part of the masquerade will be sleeping with the women that they got married to the art of touching your so-called masquerade. They will not be able to resist any of you as a result of the charm associated with the masquerade. Isn't it? Or can you deny it? I am already denying it because you are not making sense. You are saying what you don't know. You are not part of us in this masquerade. We didn't put your name because we know you know the kind of man you are. We can't afford to put your name in this masquerade. So why, why, why would you say what you don't know? I don't have to be part of your masquerade for me to know much about the, the dancing mammoth masquerade of the Omasieni. Let me tell you one thing. I know your plans. The simple reason why you are bringing the masquerade here is for you to have uninterrupted access to the women who be touching your masquerade. Isn't it? But be warned. Be warned. He who never submits to anything one day submits to bury a mat. And remember again, you are the only brother I have. If anything happens to you now, I, I, don't, I don't think I, you understand what I'm saying. Huh? Timothy, I'm talking to you. I don't like the way you're, you, you, you're just looking at my wife. Yeah? I don't like the way you're looking at her, your wife. She's our, our wife. Our family wife that we married in this. Why are you saying it's your wife alone? Is that the way they do it again? It's not your, it's not your wife alone. It's our wife. I'm only, I'm only looking at her because she's as, as we want it. Yeah. What did not I show? Timothy, have you forgotten what he said in the Bible? Jesus said that whoever looks at a woman lustfully definitely is committing her adultery with a woman. Why are you bringing Jesus Christ into this very simple we are discussing here in our family here? That I'm looking at our own wife and we are bringing Jesus into it. Is there anything wrong in somebody appreciating somebody that is beautiful? What is wrong in appreciation? I don't know why. I don't know everything I did with Jesus. You could walk on the this man. He's our wife. Oh, 
Ngozika, are you there? Ngozika! Yeah. <laughs> how was your night? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And how, how, how is your daughter? She's very fine, sir. Okay. <laughs> you know, I... I went early to Okwe Junction to go and block all those hunters that are coming back from Obale. You know you don't know this our area so much. Those hunters, when they go to Obala to go and hunt, as they are clean animals, they are roosting them in the bush as a way of preserving them. And today is the day they normally come back. We know all their schedule. And that's why I woke up early. Went to Okwe Junction to go and block them so I can get the best of And I actually brought it just to give you. Ah, uh, and I shouldn't have bothered. I couldn't I shouldn't have bothered. This one is too much. If I'm not bothered about ah. you, who should I be bothered? Even if I'm not bothered about any other person in this whole community, I was bothered about you. Thank you very much, sir. That's thoughtful of you. Don't worry yourself. You Don't worry much. yourself. Prepare your mouth. Ah. Prepare your mouth on how to shop ah. the meat. Listen, did my brother tell you when he's coming back from his trip? Hmm. No, he did not tell me, but I know for sure that in four market days he's going to be back. <laughs> four market days? Yes. I think it's good. Yes, it, four market days is, is good. But there's something I, I want to tell you. In the absence of my brother, I am available. No leave, no transfer. I'm always here. If you need anything, don't hesitate to come and tell me anything as in anything. Because my brother and myself, we are one. We do almost everything together. All my property belong to my brother. Everything, that's just like that. It just combined. So just understand it. And just go in and get Thank ready you, to prepare the meat. No problem, Nai. Uh, Thank you, sir. It's already roasted. Okay, it's sir. Very, it's very okay to eat. <laughs> Thank you. Just prepare your mouth and... Uh, Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. <laughs> you don't make so much effort about the meat, it's already prepared. Thank you, sir. Go ahead and enjoy yourself. He went this far to get me this. This is nice. Oh. Udala. Udala jada ala no vya mara kisi ala jada. Na kona gato hon. Bifu kona boga ma boga. Because we are from the same mother. This is the of the night. I want to beg you for a favor. Yeah. Gozika, please don't raise your voice. I thought you knew already that you have consumed me. If I say that I like you, it is not going to be enough. As you see me here now, I have already made up my mind. I want to give you myself. It is in line with our custom in this, in this our town. You know you are not from here. You don't know what you do here. Here in our town, we do combined business. Family members, everything, everybody it belongs to everybody. We are just doing it rentable. That's why I'm here. Are you so, you know, I want us to go inside, you and two of us, and play like man and woman. Are you insane? How can you allow such thought to cross your mind? Not to sleep with your brother's wife? Because I'm not insane. That is why I killed my brother's wife. The madness is when a man will leave his brother's wife and go to another person's wife. I didn't go to any person's wife. I came to my brother's wife. Can't you just understand this thing? As I see me here now, I have drank all the things I need to drink for accuracy, for powerful service. My brother, your husband is very wicked. That is the reason why he can have somebody like you wait now and we leave somebody like you and we never stay one place to, 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 to do what he has to do as the man. I'm ready to do it. If you do this for me, you will be sure of more gifts. <laughs> 
don't go and flash out. I'll give you good. If you don't leave, I will scream. I will give you. If you don't leave now, I will shout. Elephant. I will shout. I will shout. I'm not going. Start going. Move to see the mother's wife. I will shout. I'm not going. I will shout. I'm not going. Start going. Don't. I'm not going. My husband will hear this. Shameless he goats. Idiots. Woo! I'm not fear. Ah, that's why you, if you give giving me gifts, want to sleep with me? Woo! Shameless thing. I'm a big masquerade here in Amago. I don't need a native doctor to deal with a woman. Who is in Gaza? To make mockery of me in this Amago? Telling me to my face that she would tell the husband that I came to take what rightly belongs to all of us. Who told her that she would be alive to tell this story? In your next life, Ngozeka, when you want to say no to a masquerade, you must consider the angle of death. Sneaky. What kind of man is this? Who to sleep with me? His brother's wife. Is that how they behave in this town? <laughs> All men are equal. It's simply the language of the weak. There are men that are more equal than others. Timothy is the architect of your problem. He killed your both parents. I'm aware on how he raped you and turned you into his sex object. I'm aware that he got you pregnant and aided you to abort that pregnancy. Your past is mad in sorrow. And I want you to rely on what you now know about your past to reshape your future. I stand here to welcome you as a member in this temple. Your sufferings, disappointments, sorrows are over. What do I need to do? You shall know all that are required of you by the time you have your final initiation. Step forward. Charged for the new tax ahead. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Sexy ladies run the city. When the sexy ladies run the city, the men are permanently in trouble. Blood is water. It is the water of life. Response was that? I should be asking you that. And why would you be calling me at this ungodly hour of the night? Do you realize you're talking to Hyacinth? And who the hell is Hyacinth? Take us to Let this be the very last time you ever call this number again. And let me remind you, whatever I did with you remains with you. If you 
you ever said you would want to end that? <laughs> you would see. I sense you were saying something about the temple of sexy vampires. Please tell us all you know about this temple. Please. Hi, Saint. I can see that your closeness with that evil woman has affected you. And the truth remains that you've made yourself vulnerable because you've slept with a witch. Yes, you slept with a witch, Hi, Saint. Yes. Does it mean he told them that we slept together? <sighs> and why would she call me a witch? Why would you say that? Did I tell you I ever slept with anyone? Oh, shut up and don't tell me that because you're under her bondage. Listen, Hyacinth, we are the ones that can save you, okay? But the process of your deliverance starts from you telling us everything you know about that woman and the temple. Go on and say it, Hyacinth. Nothing will happen to you. Yes, please tell us. Whatever that happened here today must be kept close to your heart. In this city, there is a temple called the Temple of Sexy Vampires. If you don't want me to sacrifice you on the altar of that temple, you would better keep your mouth shut. Because the very day you open your mouth to tell anybody what happened here today, you're a dead man. And if I kill you, <laughs> there will be no cops to that. See, I cannot say anything. I don't want to die. Listen, I said. Listen attentively, you're not going to die. Some couple of mysterious deaths have happened in the city. And a good number of people have come to the conclusion that these deaths have something to do with this temple. Tell us all you know and save the city, please! Charlie, she warned me. Never to disclose to anybody what I have But Come, tell us that if I go. See, um, she took me to her house. Sucking out of the sexy vampires. The more blood you suck, the more money you see. That is my daughter. You have done well. Officer, doesn't mean you cannot do anything about this. Officer, that woman is evil, and her existence now is a threat. He was about to open up on her and... And she killed him. And that is exactly where I have a problem. How can you possibly say that she killed him? Was she there? Hmm? You know, yes, she wasn't there physically, but we are so sure that this woman used her witchcraft powers to kill him. <laughs> Listen to me. I am a police officer. My duty is to investigate crime and force people to live by the law. I am not a witch. I don't have any business with witchcraft. Hmm? Officer, are you saying you should allow this matter end like this? Is that what you're saying, officer? 
Officer, this is a promising young man that just died. Officer, the police should do something. Officer, do something. From what I gathered about this case, this young man died because of his greed. Yes. And that is all I'm going to say about that now. Officer, that's all you do? If we call the family members to tell them that Aysen died as he was about divulging information about this evil lady, then we think we have a part to play in his death. How could I possibly say it in like that? How? You don't know family members, trust me. Aysen met this evil lady and abandoned you. You tried your possible best to make him understand, but he refused to listen. Now he has caught up with his death. Please let's just allow this matter go. Okay? Forget him. Stop worrying yourself. If ever you appreciated me, I've never noticed it. See, the woman you castigate appreciates me. And then um, officially I'm calling it quits with you. Come on, get rid of me. I see your point. Thank you. So just stop worrying yourself. <laughs> sexy, sexy, sexy. Sexy, sexy ladies run, run the city. And when sexy ladies run the city, men are permanently in trouble. Well, today is a remarkable day. Because we are here to celebrate our friend Esther for the success she has acquired in her business. It is in our nature to celebrate those that are blessed. Because when we celebrate with those who are blessed, it is the only way we can attract blessings from secret places. Mm -hmm. So now, if we all will pick our glasses, let us toast. To officially tell you that I am ready to move out, rent my own place, be it duplex or whatever it is that I can afford, and you know, just start my own life. That won't happen. Uh, why? Why? But I mean, I have made my own money. And it, it's... Do you expect me to still live under your roof? It's not like I mind, but I mean, I, I don't think it's fair. And naturally, I, I was thinking that you, of all people, would be very proud of me. Of course, I am proud of you. I wouldn't want you to misunderstand me here. You are not going to buy a house or rent one. You are going to buy a land. Then we would hire sound engineers that would put up the house within five to six months. You need to know the foundation of where 
you want to leave. If you rent a house or buy one, it means you are living in a strange house that you don't even know the foundation. It could backfire. Beautiful ladies that run this city do not live in houses built on strange foundations. Thank you. And you know, for a minute, I, I was thinking, my bad, I'm sorry. But okay, so when? When am I going to meet with the sound engineers that would do me this miracle in five months? I am so ready. I need to well, spread. Well, um, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll give them a call. Okay? Then we'll take it up from there. But for now, let's go inside and party with the others. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Nice Thank you. I can't wait. You know, I... I invited you girls over to come and see the new house that I built. Naturally, I expected you girls to be happy for me but the looks on your faces I mean shows that you're not and I'm wondering why would the sexy ladies not be happy for me building my own house now that you've built your own house the house you know the foundation it's high time we led you into this mysteries of the sexy vampires <laughs> is there anything about the sisterhood that I don't know already men are now looking for successful ladies to settle down with. The world is changing and a huge amount of ladies are now becoming millionaires. And you, as the member of the temple, sexy vampires, you are allowed to play with men, toy with them, do whatever you wish, but never allow any of them to play with you. Isn't that contradictory? I mean, you said I can't play, oh, I can play with them, but I shouldn't allow them to play with me. I don't understand. How do you do that? It all depends on what you understand by the word play. Just know that from now on, love has been banished from your world. What she is trying to let you know is, Esther, it is high time you selected a particular day that you would dedicate as your vampire day. Sacramento would sanctify and bless that day for you. If you cannot have sex during your menstruation period, then it's better you select a particular day that will not fall into your menstruation period. Because you have to stay with a man that day. And any man you stay with that day must die. And his blood deposited in the temple. Wait, are you saying that I have to sacrifice a man every month? Exactly. You know, men have become so useless that they can never maintain one relationship. All they do is look for a particular woman or a new woman that they would bang. And in their hearts they feel they are heroes because they keep deceiving these women. Those unfaithful men are our target and we will continue to sacrifice them one after the other every month until infidelity is banished. <sighs> this is serious. Indeed, the temple of the sexy vampire is a serious place. My vampire day comes up every last Friday of the month and on this day, I must be with a man, even if I'm bleeding. I've been doing this for six years now and you want to know the amount of men dead? More than 70. What? Wait, you, you, you've killed over 70 men? One of them was actually a priest. On my vampire day, a man must die in my arms. Esther. You don't need to feel pity for any of those men that got wasted. I mean, they are simply paying the price for their infidelity. Which hmm. responsible man would want to sleep with a strange woman? None. If you have to remain in money, then you have to abide by the rules of the temple. It's not as if you're asked to kill a whole bunch, just one man. What? Are you kidding? Just one man? So, this is it. <laughs> Now you can clean it. Right, um, there's actually one proposal I got from the Tourism Commission. I want you to see it. A proposal from the Tourism Commission? How come you never deemed it fit to let me know? Because I wanted it to be a surprise and 
That's why we're here. Let me see the proposal. It looks like you're not happy. Of course I am happy. I'm happy that my young Esther is now diversifying. That's a good one. Let me see the proposal so that we can actually know if it's actually from the Tourism Commission office. There you go. For your perusal. Uh, officer, what is it? How can I help you? Come down and pull your boat. We are here for stop and search. Okay, stop and search. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm in a hurry, but... Um... You boys can have this. My friend, come down. I will pull your boot. Okay, um... I know what... Okay. This is 2000. Take it and I'll see you boys when I'm on my way back. Hey, that is it. That's it. Okay. Hold it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, hold it, hold it, hold it. Get down and open that boot. Oh god! This man don't settle you. Step aside. I want it. Come down. Come down. I'll open the boot. Come down and open the boot. No, this no. Oh, uh, what is that in there? I'll belly for now. Oh, my God, I'll open the boot, huh? What is that? Is it this one? I've seen it before. Let me give you your own. Sergeant, search that boot. Move it, I'll open the boot, huh? Take your hand up, open up. Take your hand and open the boot. Take your hand and open, open, open the boot. Come officer! Come, 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 I want you to take it. Invest like a hundred million naira into this deal. And if you do that, be sure to be very happy. Before you know it, you would own a hotel in the lunch. And when you own a hotel, you're in business fully. Guests will be disappearing from your hotel on a daily basis. And be sure that you're in the deal. Oh, really? Is that what you do in your hotel? <laughs> Not only in my hotel, even in my orphanage. Apart from the monthly donation of a man in the Vampire's Day, you can be sure to expand your fortunes by recklessly donating blood to the temple. As for me, I've actually lost count of the number of people that disappeared from my hotel. Their sensitive parts sewed, their blood sucked, and their flesh fried from it. You can actually do the same too. Uh, look, Gladys, please, please, please. Look. I'm getting very weak with all this incessant, unnecessary killing of innocent people. I'm really getting tired of it. I'll pretend as if I didn't hear that. This should be the very last time you ever reason about that. Hello? Yeah, hello. Gladys. What makes you think that you can mess up with me like this? What do you mean by that? My driver has just been arrested by some policemen out there. And he made me to understand that your boys did not package the girl very well before he left the hotel. How could you involve some lousy boys in a network like this? Point of correction. My boys should not be classified lousy. My boys are professional and they never make mistakes. Oh, is that what you think? Well, Gladys, I want you to listen to me. And listen to me very carefully. My boy right now is in a police net and you know I cannot go there. So it is up to you to figure out a way to bail him out and close this case once and for all. Or else what? <laughs> you know what I'm going to do. I will run you over. So do something about this mess or you face me. Wait, wait, wait. Raymond, are you home? How could you ask me such a stupid question? How can I be at home at a crucial time like this? I am at suite 6 of Downloaded Moon Resort. Do something or I'll fall out with you. But, he hello? Hello? You sound like there's a problem. What is it? Well, the police have arrested Captain Raymond's driver. So he's threatening his grandmother. Threatening his grandmother? What is that? Don't even mind him. 
Sexy ladies run this city and men are permanently in trouble. I'm used to that rubbish. As for you, continue to wax stronger and stronger, okay? I'll see you later. Um, hey, um, actually I'm going to my village this morning. I just thought I should let you know. Probably see you later. Oh, okay. So I'll see you when you get back. Nice one, eh? Bye. Congrats, darling. See ya. The police caught the guy because blood was dripping down from the truck. Can someone tell me what happened? The driver is to be blamed. I personally asked him to wait so that I can perfect the packaging, but he refused to listen. He was just too in a hurry. He's right. The driver is to be blamed because he was in a hurry. Can you tell me why you're calling me again? Why are you there with me? Why are you allowing this case to linger? Let me tell you something. Your driver did not allow my men to perfect the package. He left in a hurry. He should be the one you should be blaming and not my men. Do you understand that my boy can be tortured and this probably will make him mention names of people that are involved in this network? It will be disappointing if your driver is such a man that mentions names when tortured. But let me tell you something. Better tell him not to mention my name because if he does, I will make sure I kill everybody in his family. It's a promise. This is going to be very scandalous. Now all the people will know that I am part of this ritual network that has been very notorious in the city. How can I quench this case? Officer, officer, torture is illegal. It's illegal. You guys are torturing me and this is illegal. Murderers have already separated themselves from the protection of the law. You've already tortured a presumed innocent girl to death. This is a ritual kiss. And you, a murderer. Officer, I'm not a murderer. I'm not a murderer. You guys don't even know what is going on in this city. That's where you come in. Tell me what I want to hear. What is going on in this city? Officer, I don't have anything to tell you. I don't have anything to tell you. Well, it's good I let you know that. The case against you is large. You can spend the rest of your life in jail. You can prevent it though. That is, if you tell me other people that are involved with you in this business. Can you speak to me? Officer, officer, I don't have anything to tell you. I'm not a murderer now. Are you ready to mention the people or you want me to end you here? Officer, I am a man. Speak! I mean, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, eh? I don't want to talk about her now. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Don't talk about her. Are you telling us that it's a woman that killed her? Speak! Officer, wait, let me tell you. You know this woman, eh? She's a very big woman in this society. I'm sorry. Out of the sexy vampires. The more blood you suck, the more money you see. That is my daughter. You have done well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come, let's go, sir. Yeah. Why? Hello, when you're going? How much? Four million naira. Huh? Four million naira. Can you hear me? Move on, you're Me, sell land for four million. But if I sell this land for four million, what would I use it for? Is it to marry? Build house? What? No, what? Tell me. Oh. Oh, 
Is it me you are addressing me with a hello? Do you know who is standing here? A millionaire making And a queer quarzo. It is surprising that you can't recognize me after just two years. Oh, you even know my name in full. Who are you? You know, I packed here because I recognized you. And I know you're very good at spreading information. My name is Esther Ikenna. Hmm? The daughter of the same Ikenna that you know. Is it the same Esther I used to know before? Or oh, oh, the, the, is it the new Esther? You've been carried with official car. And I agree, this is not an official car. It is my car. Um, bam, bam, bam. I want you to go into town and tell everybody that I'm back. And I am now a millionaire in different currencies. Tell them to come and get their share. Sure. I have very limited time to stay here. Pick it again. Hey! Woo! 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 I'm here I come! I'm Hey! Hey! Alam! I'm your friend! Yes, this is Dr. Hyde. Can I be of help? They refer to this city as City of Light. Many people wonder what that means. I am that light that shines in the city. And I want you to come out from your cocoon of responsibility and mingle with the lady that can change your life. I will not bother asking who this is because I already know it's Gladys. I'd prefer it if you call me Lady Gladys. <laughs> you know, I am a millionaire. A millionaire that can change your life for good. In one sentence, Gladys, what do you want? Well, I'm making you an offer of 10 million naira. If only you share the same bed with me tonight. I want you to go drink all the energy drink you can lay your hands on. Gladys, I will not be responsible for your ignorance. It is so unfortunate that in this era of searchlight campuses and open universities, you have chosen to remain unlettered. Well, I am making you an offer for 10 million naira just for a night. I mean, why are you not considering that huge offer? There are men you can get with money. Dr. Hyde is certainly not one of them. Now let me give you an advice. Delete my number from your phone. Do not in your life ever again call me. <laughs> oh my god. This plane had to get. I will make sure I get him to do what I want him to do. And I'll make sure he pays for his stubbornness. <laughs> hmm. Unbelievable. Esther, is this you? This is me. What is okay and um, hobby? <laughs> they are now in the university and they will be very happy to hear that you've made it. I've always knew that you will make it in life. Oh, please, cut the crap. Don't even start to piss me off. You knew I'd always make it, yet you tried to force me into marrying your local tailor. My daughter, I thank God you resisted me. I thank God. This is you. Am I dreaming or what? No, nah, dream. You're not dreaming. This is our Esther. I 
she has made it. She is rich. Esther is rich. <laughs> what did you do? I went to locate my parents' grave. I couldn't find them. You had leveled them. And then you sold my father's house. I don't even know what to say to you. <laughs> Are you sure this is Esther? It's our Esther now. It's Esther. Where did you get the money you are spending? I am also aware of the circumstances that led to the death of my parents. You know, I'm not going to move faster than the Creator. Because I know that He knows why He allowed it to happen. And I also know for a fact that the evil that men do, very soon, backfires right before their eyes. That is for you. You know, I want to thank you very much for the way you handled me. If not for the pressure that you mounted on me, I would not have left here for the city. You made me run. And eventually, I ran into my destiny. So I thank you for it. Find a way of sending money to OK and Obi. I bear them no grudge. As far as I'm concerned, they're still my brother and my sister. And that is for you. When I have your time, I will come back. So you explain to me how you sold my father's house and leveled my parents' graves. Uh, 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 Esther, your schedule is tight. And that is the way of the millionaires. I did not even go to all these useless people of Hamago. I went to, to the king's threat to tell him what you said. And he said if he's waiting for you to come and name me Kabu Anya. Can you still make it to Enugu if you go see the king? Yes. We are cruising on a reliable machine. We can still get to Enugu. Take your time and see all the people you've not seen for long. Okay, you lead the way. I want to wake up finally and realize that this is a dream. No, Junke, you are not dreaming. If it is a dream, I, Oluchi, I don't ever want to wake up from it. This is money <laughs> from Esther. You don't want to wake up? No, no. Hey, honey. Oluchi. Hey. Oh, Esther, mama. Oluchi. <laughs> now, Oluchi, you don't want to wake up. I, 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 I am looking for reason to sack you. <laughs> My daughter! Wow. This is one of the best brandy that I have here. Why are you not drinking? The police have confirmed that my driver was killed by evil powers. What do you know about it? Why can't you be romantic for once? Romantic? What the hell do you mean by romantic? I'm telling you my driver was murdered and you're here talking romance. What is wrong with you? I have this feeling that you do. Is that an insult or what? Why are you calling me gay? Then let's go upstairs. So you could prove to me that you are not gay. You want me to have you in your house? Doesn't matter. After all, you were not even making any attempt to have me anywhere. And as for that, your useless driver. He wanted to divulge the secrets of my business. So I had to cut him off. Timothy, this is the first time you're visiting me. So I buried my father some years ago. 
We are not the reason for this visit. You buried your father? Huh? Where? Have you buried your father? Seven years ago, buried my father. Who is your father? The same father of yours that you threw inside the open grave and closed everywhere. You call it burial? Have you buried him? Did you kill one cow? You are making reference to your father's burial. Your father's spirit is still hovering around the whole place because as far as we are, we are concerned, you have not buried the man. That cool. I'm not here to make, visit, make reference to that. I, I am here for different purpose entirely. And if, what did you tell my niece about me? That's why I'm here. Don't make reference to your father's burial because your father has not been buried. He said, Everybody has someone with him. Now listen to me, Timothy, or whatever they call you. There was no time to discuss you. Because people like you were not in the picture. People like me were not in the picture. So who are the people in the picture? Who? I'm asking you. <laughs> listen to me. Why would you take my own niece to the king of this land? Where I know inside out. Without my consent. Listen. If you must know. She went to the king and donated 20 million naira to the Progressive Union of Amago. And we were leaving the compound. She told me she will buy the king a brand new car. So, Timothy, try and be an active member of the Progressive Union. So you can know. You can know the movement of the money. Now listen to me for the last time. I'm not that kind of man. You can just come and intimidate all those. Ah! Wait, wait. I want, I want to ask you something. Ask. Are you telling me that my own sister, my niece, now has that kind of money to give to anybody? Oh. 20, 20 million. Mm -mm. She will beg you before she will have that kind of money. If she did not have that kind of money, how will she donate 20 million naira? She worth more than 1 billion naira. She even told the Igwe. That if that money she gave to Igwe is being used judiciously, how she will go can marry? And how go and if go? I mean, I So you better, like my advice before, be an active member of the Progressive Union, so you can know how the money is being used. You know, you know, your destruction is coming so close. Makachideke, we are bogoko. Listen to me. Because before noon tomorrow, I will have information if again. about this money. Okay. If I confirm that there was no money given to the Progressive Union by Easter, it has been like I've been planning what I'm going to do to you. What do you mean, it is not clear that your destruction is coming close. You will give them. It's not in the end. I'm not going to use your phone. Whatever happened here today must be guided closely as a secret. If you don't want me to sacrifice you on the altar of the temple of the sexy vampires, then you must keep your mouth shut forever. The very day you open your mouth to tell anyone about what happened here today between us, you were dead. If I kill you, there'll be no cops to bury. Are you threatening me or what? Do you know me? You are just as basic as the rest of them. Just get yourself out of my bed and get out of my presence. I hate you. I hate you all. And don't even push me. Get your bulky self out of my bed this minute. Silly. What are you waiting for? You want them to fuss you out of my bed? Is that what you want? Get out of my way, or we will fight to finish. I want you to open this your mouth and tell me every single thing you know about the death of your parents. 
Start speaking now. Start now. You killed my mother because she refused to allow you to have a piece of her. You murdered my father because he refused to give you the family land. You used charm on me so I could forget everything about my parents' properties. I look at you and I wonder, how do you expect to live in peace? Get out of my way before I destroy you. Who are these people that you have been listening to that are telling you all this rubbish? Who are they? I'm going to say this for the last time. Get out of my path before I destroy you. Now you are going to see the original master of Amago. You. You have the effort to open up the page I closed so many years ago. Because your name is Esther. Because you have forces you are sitting with. You will see me now. Quibulu. I bow before you, Mother Sacramento. Why Bola Junob? You see your mother? Mother Sacramento. What is it? Not. Nothing. And you're looking this frightened. No. Do you mind telling me what you saw? Open up to me. Just a nightmare. Just a nightmare? Do you mind telling me about this nightmare? Masquerade nightmare. I saw the masquerade of Amago. The big masquerade of Amago. Okay, Mo. It has nothing to do with women. I can handle it. Just go back to sleep. No, I have this feeling that you're hiding something from me. What are you hiding from me? Sleep. <sighs> Who is this woman that she bowed before? Mwanyi Balajinobu. Who is this woman that had enough force that threw me down? The masquerade of Amago. Who is she? Who is she? Timothy. Mili Malevi Nanya. Manafu Chanke. Anya Bo. Look at the money that I dropped on your table. That's the money she gave me. And I want you to use this money as a contact point to get to wherever she is. She marveled me with the information at her disposal. She knows too much already. And I am convinced that she is not affiliated with. In fact, she is working for a very strange force. And that force is the reason why she had the effort to confront me. She believes that I cannot do anything. I am here because I want her to die today. You are looking at me as if you don't want to do something. Don't see this as an insult only to me. This is an insult to you, a fellow man like you, a masquerade like you. All of us are living in this land. And if a woman should insult a man of this land, it is assumed that the woman has insulted a masquerade. And a big masquerade like you should be able to do something. And that is why I'm here. Because there is no way she can insult me the way she did and leave. She has insulted me automatically, she has insulted you. And if you want to leave it like that, so be it. The best thing is for her to die. And the boyfriend and the bear, Neku Mona Mago should be able to do something. Like that. Come on. Anna Baledo. Organic and none. Now, why you may hit you? Why you need to tell you, Mammy? Oh, the head is always head, and the tail is nothing. Move to wherever she is and cut off whatever that motivates her. Yeah, what? Mba.
Oma aga no boda. Eh? Mba o, mba o, mba o. I cost her fortunes. I want you to die. Die! 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 out of the sexy vampires. The more blood you suck, the more money you see. Men that parade themselves as witch doctors are helpless in the hands of the sexy vampires. I bet you, you do not know me. If you did, Yes, I accept I don't know you, but you are one beautiful lady, and I want to know you. Here is what I have to say to you, Dr. Hyde. I'm a very busy woman. I do not have time for playboys. And I want to tell you immediately that I'm not a playboy. I saw you walking out of this complex, and I was like, who is this lovely lady? Because I'm shocked. I come here all the time, like uh, every week, and I'm stunned to know that a beautiful lady like you has an office here. I've never met you, so I want to know you. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I don't wish to be known. Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 hang on, hang on. All right, um, I do not intend to take much of your time. If I have done that, forgive me. Can I get your number, your card, so I can call you, please? Why don't you give me your card, and I'll make up my mind whether to call you or not. Oh, sure. There you go. All right. There you go. Please make up your mind real quick. I'm fine. 
Uh, I wouldn't want you to feel flattered, but I met you just once and you left a noble impression of yourself. I must say that I am honored that you called me as you promised. Well, okay, so what is it you want from me? Do you really want us to do this? I'm thinking we meet face to face and talk about this tomorrow rather than do this over the phone. Are you trying to save my airtime for me? I called you, so I want you to tell me. I want you to know this. I think you are a lady of outstanding class, and readily I hold you in high esteem. I wouldn't want to undermine you by talking over the phone. No. I want us to meet, sit down, face to face, in a relaxed environment. I'll look into your beautiful face, you look into mine, and we talk. So, we do this tomorrow? You know, you introduced yourself as Dr. Hyde. Could you tell me? What is it? Are you a PhD holder, a medical doctor? What are you? A medical doctor. Practicing? Sure. I work with Octagon Medical Center. I also have my private clinic I run very close to my house. Great. I'll call you tomorrow and tell you when we are going to meet. Is that okay? Mm. All right. That would be truly appreciated. Uh, one more thing. Can I save this number as yours? Sure. It is my number. You can save it. Good night, Dr. Hyde. Good night. Ciao. I try to call you. I do have better things to do than sit here and let you know that your phone is ringing. So help me out. Answer your phone, please. Now, how long you gonna sit here without answering the phone? You asked me to let you know if somebody called it. Now, I'm letting you know they called it. Could you please pick up the phone? The only reason I'm taking this call is because you are a woman. Why are you calling me by this time? I've never gone for any man, and he rejects me. Why are you proving difficult? The last time you called me, I told you to delete my number from your phone. Why didn't you do that? Why are you still talking like an illiterate? Money talks and bullshit works. I don't want to make you another offer. Tell me exactly what you want and I would fix it. I want to take you. You know, it is so unfortunate that you are not intelligent at all. I'll advise you, go back to school and acquire some etiquette and curtsy. You may get some morally debased men to wet your thighs because you offer them money, but you can never, ever in your life get a learned man. For your information, sweetie, I have many so-called learned men, and they always ask for more. So, I mean, why are you acting as if you're all in all? What's so fantastic about you? Go get a life, Gladys. Go get a life. He doesn't want us to become lovers. I guess he wants us to become enemies. He would have reason to cry. That's a promise. Awotumbe, this is her grave. Chief, why did you murder your wife? I have told you already. She developed into a lesbian under my nose. Hers was so bad that she stopped doing anything with me completely. 
Her life was an embarrassment to me and I couldn't take it. I'm sorry to tell you this, Chief. You have no right to murder a woman that called you her husband. You have no right. Look, I go Calling a man your husband is actually different from seeing yourself as the man's wife. She went out of control that even my friends were making mockery of me. One week doctor asked me to bring a virgin, which I did. But it didn't work. I came to you because I was told you are going to help me. Please help me, I got to remember. Chief, I will invoke your wife's spirit to appear so that she will speak for herself. Because I will not judge this matter based on what you told me. I would like to hear from the other side of the story. Look, Ako Trumba, can you possibly invoke her spirit to appear? Look, this is a woman I buried four years ago. Just do what you are supposed to do. But she has been appearing to people. That means she is very, very much around. Remember, Chief, I have the powers to change her permanently and completely and she will not appear anymore. And that is exactly what I want you to do. Look, change her permanently. I don't know how you are going to do it, but change her. Look, I'm ready to pay you anything. Just mention your price. I will not change your wife until I hear from her. Holy! And Jamaica, the book of archives, the spirit of Eve's, holy, appear! The spirit of Eve, appear! Holy! Why are you running away from the woman you married? You murdered me for ritual purposes. Why are you not willing to say the truth to even your close friends? Why? She's lying. This is an evil woman. Don't listen to her. Do what you're supposed to do. Your ritual didn't work. And you murdered me a lesbian. Even if I was a lesbian, will you have to kill me? Do you? Holy! Chief! You are wallowing in rituals. And you are hiding under the cloak of lesbianism. This is your wife. Go to her and ask her to forgive you. Holy! Holy! I got room there. How can you possibly say that? Look, I brought you here to do something for me. And why are you sounding like a broken Aphrodite record? If you are not ready to help me out of this place, I'll get out of here! Chief, the evil that men do lives with them. Go to your wife and ask her to forgive you. Go to your wife and ask her to forgive you, Chief. Go to your wife and ask her to forgive you. Holy, I want to remember. Go to your wife and ask her to forgive you. I want to know Margaret, what have I done to you? Why do you want to terminate my image in this community? Margaret, why? Why? Why are you doing this to me? I was at least buried. And you shall never be buried. You know, most of, if not all the rich women in this city, they have this bad habit of throwing money at men. But you, oh, you are different. Very different. And that is why I'm excited. And that is why I love you. You know, you have a special way of saying certain things that really humbles me. I, I don't know what it is. But I... I think I'm losing it. Losing it? What are you losing? Look, Esther. 
Without mincing words, I know that you are the woman for me. You are the best thing that's ever, ever happened to me. Look, I... Deep inside me, I feel it that our love is going to make world records. I don't know, I, I just can't please it, but with each passing day, I see a new reason to love you. You know, I... I've come to love you. Promise me that you keep me safe. again and again and again and again and again <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't know I, I just can't lay my hand on it but I feel indebted to you <laughs> indebted to me <laughs> what are you kidding how is that ever possible I don't know I just told you I don't know but I feel it in my spirit you know like you are a woman who should be cherished, who should be loved, who should be respected and adored. And a woman who should be the one for me. Oh my God. I have fallen in love. I don't want to fall in love. Why? Come on, tell me why. deserves to be loved, who deserves to be respected, who deserves the best, who deserves a true man in your life. Let me be that man in your life. Please. Look deep into my eyes and tell me you love me. Ah, uh, 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 don't rush it. From deep down there, tell me you love me. I love you. I love you too. I know something is wrong, but I have to hear it. I don't know what is wrong with me. Everything is working and tickle quite. Everything. What happened to you and why are you looking like a wreck? My complex has been gutted by fire. Everything got burnt in the process. Do you know what that means? Hundreds of millions of naira. My hard earned money, my sweat, everything has gone down the drain. Everything. Could this possibly be the end of the road for us? Why are we experiencing series and series of setbacks? Seriously, Christy, I don't know what to say. But one thing I know for sure is that the sisterhood is under attack by a strong, huge force that is bigger and mightier than all of us. I'm doing everything possible to understand exactly what you guys are saying right now! How can you say that the goods disappeared without a trace? I'm just as confounded as you are. We are losing money every day. And I just can't place my hand on what is happening. Have you called the people you're supposed to call? I have called everybody I should call. They're all saying the same thing. There's no clue. Well, uh, I think you should go to the temple and meet your spiritual head to explain exactly what is happening. And why would you want to involve the sisterhood into this? There's nothing else I could think. I mean, all the things we used to do with ease are practically impossible now. <sighs> Madam, there is only one explanation. And I think it has something to do with the sisterhood. We should go and find out. Hello? I don't know how busy your schedule is, but I want us to fix a meeting urgently. You sound as if you're experiencing a setback in your business too. It's not just a setback. I can confirm to you that I'm almost grounded. It has to do with the sisterhood. Everything is just happening so fast. 
I'm here with Essie and she just told me now that her shopping mall got gutted away by fire. We have to have a meeting urgently. So where do we meet? Let's say Ozumba, 9 p.m. I will inform the other girls. You will inform your girl. All right, I'll do that as soon as possible. In short, I'll do it right now. There could be some merit in, in your conclusion. All the other members are having problems too. I felt it. And I know it cannot be unmarried. Where are you, Esther? I'm chilling with my boyfriend. Why? Why do you ask? And who's this guy you're so fond of? <sighs> Don't worry. I'll bring him to you later today. He's such a cutie. <laughs> <laughs> if you're coming to my place, you better come early enough, okay? There's a meeting in our zone there by 9 this night, and you better be there. What is there a problem? Don't tell me you're the only one not experiencing setback in your business. There is something wrong somewhere and we need to figure it out. Okay, um, I'll, I'll see you later in the day, okay? Bye. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Who is this guy? She is so fun. I wanted to ask, what church do you attend? What? What church? You attend church, right? Oh, sure. Um, yeah, I used to... I used to attend Catholic. My father used to be a very strong Catholic member, but it's past, so... Okay. I don't attend church anymore. You don't attend church anymore? Mm -hmm. And you think that's the best? Sweetie, you know... The original plan was for people to gather and worship God. And that is still the plan. Hell, people still gather to worship God. Hell no. I disagree. Uh-uh. They have converted the church into something else. The churches now compete with the government, business tycoons in sectors like education, transportation, entertainment, fashion, housing, what have you. They make this congregation to endlessly contribute money to all the selfish and greedy uh, uh, religious leaders or whatever they call them. Oh, come on. You can't say that. There are still people who worship God in spirit and in truth. Mm. Those are the kind of people you should look up to. Okay, sweetie. Can we please talk less of this religion? Can we talk more about ourselves? Mm. Tell us something. We've been talking about ourselves in a while. We're freaky. Mm. Talking about ourselves very soon we run out of topics to talk about. Mm-mm. 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 Do you like? Wow, I love it. I love it. Watch this. Yeah. 
beautiful environment. Oh, you're welcome. So much she you're has welcome. a lot of tests. Thank yes, you. Yes, she does. I'm sure you sing. You're you. welcome, yeah. So hard. Oh, you two know each other already. What are you doing with Esther? Okay, this is come on, come on, sweetie. You know my boyfriend I told you about? His name is Dr. Hyde, as you already know. And sweetie, that's she's like my best friend. But not only is she a very good friend, she's like an aunt to me. So <laughs> Esther. Yes, please. Let's see outside. One second. Yes. Okay, let me sit down. You have to let go of that guy, and you must do that urgently. Why? You don't like him? I really don't want us to argue over this matter. I introduced you into the sisterhood. I gave you the link that made you have the money you have today. I have an edge over you, so you must do as I say. Uh, uh, Gladys, she was sounding like a dictator to me. Listen, I met this guy per chance and I can categorically tell you that you are in love. I don't care. All I'm saying is let go of that guy or else you would regret it and you would pay with your life. Just do as I say. What? Wait, wait. Are you threatening me? I would even do more than that. Just let go of him. Period. We have a meeting by nine. You will tell me whatever has been concluded in the morning. I'm going to my house. God. What is this? How can he choose her over me? This is an insult and I will not allow this to continue. No. I will make sure he regrets this. He will surely pay with his life. But I can't allow this to continue. No. I want you to tell me everything. What is it between you and Gladys? Esther, what do you want me to say that I have not said? I told you before, she threw herself at me. She even went as far as offering me 10 million naira just to sleep with her, but I turned her down because I am not that kind of person. I am completely different. Oh, jeez, Gladys. Gladys is arrogant. She's full of herself and she's morally bankrupt. I want you to know that Gladys is not just my friend. She's my very good friend. And she is the one you're qualifying like that. Well, I'm sorry, but I have to tell you this. Any woman who can go as far as engaging the services of a jiggle or to wet her thighs, she is not ideal for you as a friend. Take it from me. Oh well, I am impressed that you turned her down. I turned her down because I am not that kind of person. I'm saying it again. I'm not the kind of man that women can get easily with money. I'm very different. And Esther. I came for you because, because you are unique, you are different, 
And so far, you have not disappointed me. I love you. Oh. I love you too. <laughs> All right, I beg to take my leave now. Hmm. I have to. Mm -mm. Dr. Hyde, I'm sorry to bust the bubble, but you and I, we won now. So, I have to leave. Sacramento, 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 Sacramento. We buy. Before you, oh, holy one. one, sexy, 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 sexy ladies run the city. When do sexy ladies run the city? The men are permanently in trouble. Blood is water, it is the water of life. I want to know the reason for this meeting, great one. We are experiencing difficult times in our businesses and we have come to the conclusion that something is wrong. We are here to find out what went wrong. of you must go through the process of sanctification each of you must sacrifice a virgin girl and an uncorrupted boy this must be completed before the end of this month if you fail to carry out this instruction you surely will not like what will happen to you I I'm sorry to speak mother superior but <laughs> I'm sorry, Mother, but I'm sure there must be another way. Getting a virgin girl and an uncorrupted boy is just not an easy sacrifice. I mean, where in this world are we supposed to get that? I, I, I want you to see yourselves as cursed. Because you cannot negotiate. The masters have revealed what they want. Each of you must give them what they want or you are expired you people are all here saying nothing for goodness sake where are we supposed to get a virgin girl and an uncorrupted boy this is too much a sacrifice now and i mean come on you guys we should have said something gladys where are we going to get that kind of you should say something you people are all leaving nobody said anything you understand what I'm trying to say? I mean, at least we could have protested that we can. That's so Nobody's. You know, I am. Um, I'm deeply worried. You know, I. I don't get it. How does one get a virgin girl and an uncorrupted boy you know demands like this was exactly why i opened up my own orphanage but not to worry i spoke to my matron she's on her way she'll be the one to supply a boy and a girl i will carry out my sacrifice tonight wow <sighs> you're indeed lucky i must say Lucky is not the word. The word is intelligent. 
So if you're intelligent, you should be thinking of opening up your own orphanage. Gladys, it's not about opening up an orphanage. I mean, even if I do that now, it's definitely going to take like a couple of years before you start to have inmates. Gladys, could you please help me with something from your place? Please? On one condition. That you let go of Dr. Hyde. Wait. Why would you bring Dr. Hyde into this? He told me what transpired between you guys and I believe him. So it's now on his word against mine, huh? You're playing with fire. I will deal with you. So, are you seriously saying that if I do not give up Dr. Hyde, that you're not going to help me? You know, Esther, I'm beginning to regret the very day I picked you up. <laughs> Don't be like that, Gladys. Look, honestly, if you were me, and I be you, and a man hooks up with you after turning me down, I would not be angry. I mean, honestly, it's, it's all a matter of choice. Besides, there are so many men out there, everywhere, then hook up your net on those guys. Then leave Dr. Hyde for me. Leave him for me. Why are we dragging him? You threw yourself at him. He never liked you. He saw me once and he approached me. And by saying that, that you're more beautiful than I am, is that it? Ah, Gladys, listen. Don't be ridiculous. It's, it's, it's not about beauty. Beauty is not everything, you know. It's, it's about choice. What we have is special. It started slowly until it got to this point. Dr. Hyde loves me, and guess what? I love him too. And I will not abandon him for any reason. Esther, you just walked out on me! Esther, you just walked out on me! Oh. The only thing I will tell you is to continue taking your drugs. You will be fine. Are you sure, Doctor? Are you sure? I feel like I'm going to die. I mean, I'm going to die any moment from now. You are not going to die. Now, I know why you're feeling like that because you feel you're sick. But I've checked you. There is nothing wrong with you. Your system is working perfectly normal. You feel this way because you feel your kidneys are bad. Yes, I think it's more of a, a psychological thing. But I have checked you. Your kidneys are perfectly, perfectly fine. Okay? So I'll tell you again. Go home, keep taking your drugs, and you'll be fine. Thank you very much, Doctor. All right. It's okay. Have a nice day. Please call in the next person. Okay. You are what? And what are you doing in my office? Do you need medical attention? I'm ready to have you here in your office. Come on. I have seen men. But surely you are the man. For crying out loud, what are you doing with Esther? Esther is my girl. I made her a billionaire. And she is answerable to me. How could you leave me for Esther, my girl? God. You know what? I am ready to pay you whatever you want me to pay you. I just want to be handled by you. First thing I'm going to tell you is this. Do not raise your voice in my office. Secondly, it is not in my nature to throw women out with masculine brutality. Do not force me to do that. Turn around and get out of my office. Oh yeah? 
Oh yeah? I am ready to undress myself right here in your office. I just want to have you. Do not do that. If listen to me, hey! If you do that, I will be forced to call in security. Get out. Just make a move and I am. Yes. I am ready to pay you three times over whatever is to pay you. Just get out! Get out of my office. as a souvenir. Why is this lady such a classless beauty? Man, I said he's the only man in this city. Why? Are you calling me names? What is the meaning of that? Of course I'm talking to you, Gladys. I am talking to you, Gladys. Take a good look at me. Okay? I'm not as basic as you think I am. Now if you come one inch close to my man again, babe, I will make you sorry. Do you realize who you're talking to? Chris, you are talking to Gladys, the iron lady of this city? Excuse me? Dar, are you deaf? I've been calling Gladys like I'm talking to you? You are threatening me because of a man? <laughs> Stay away from my man. Otherwise, this town will be too small to accommodate you and I. I knew him before you. And he has consistently told you he doesn't want you. Christ, what is it with you? Don't you get it? If you ever trigger the best in me, I promise you, I will crush you. I will reduce you to zero the area of my life. Now listen to me. <laughs> you see what you think you know? I know it. Okay? If you come after me for real, sweetheart, I will fight you with the last drop of my blood. Get that into your silly, dull brains. Bloody bitch! Let me get it. Who are you? How did you get in my car? My name is Rose. In the occult, they call me the White Rose. The unholy temple of the sexy vampire is surely on the verge of collapse. You are the tools I need to destroy the useless set. Look, I will assume I never met you. Please, just open that door and step out of my car. I beg you. Your name is Esther. You are from Amago. You have already violated the rules of the useless and hollow sets. And they are going to destroy you. Your members have carried out a sanctification of murdering a virgin girl and an uncorrupted boy. You are the only one remaining. And I know you're not going to do that. I am here to help you. But you sound like I'm already in trouble. What's going on? Make up your mind to work with me and I will surely appear to you again. If you fail to make up your mind, I will never bother you again. But believe me when I said, they are going to destroy you. God. Wild Rose, what the hell does she want from me? Hello, baby. I want us to go out this evening. So, we'll see you this evening. Okay, no problem. Your place or mine? 
Both are. City Tower, say 6 p.m. I'll see you there. Right. I love you. I love you more. Bye. The first invitation was to a poolside. What are we doing in a restaurant? <laughs> Come on. Didn't you see the pool? Everyone is out there. It's rowdy. So I want us to be in a private place. Yes. Where we can talk. You know, I look at you and I see someone who has lots to say. I'm listening. Mm. You know, I've become so attached to you. So, so attached to you. And right now, it's going to be very difficult for me to live without you. I'm very honored to hear that. Esther. I want whatever answer you're going to give to me to come from the deepest part of your heart. Don't say anything to please me. You have my word on that. Go ahead. Sure. Sure. this girl? Her name is Esther. <laughs> Esther. Where is this Esther? Sitting right in front of me as we speak. Why would she do that to me? Why? <laughs> what? You're kidding, right?
I call this very urgent meeting because the masters have revealed the reason for our setbacks. The sacrifice of the virgin girl and an uncorrupted boy did not yield anything because one of you has violated the sacred rules of this sisterhood. Mother most spiritual, if there's anything you can do to help us solve this problem, please go ahead and do it. We are all at the verge of bankruptcy. Nothing is working for any of us anymore. Please. The first rule of this sisterhood states that even when you are free to play with men, you must not allow men to play with you. This means Q must never fall in love with any man. Esther, pray you are not the cause of this problem because I will be the one to kill you myself. The second rule of this sisterhood states that even when you are free to do whatever thing you want to do with men, you must never go personal with any man that has the same blood with you. We are experiencing setbacks because one of you has been sleeping with her own blood brother. Oh, oh, please, let's all look at this. Who is now justified? I have been exonerated. Can't you see that? I don't have a brother, you know it. The staff shall speak. Step forward, all of you, one by one, and touch the staff. You are the problem we have in the sisterhood. You have been sleeping with your own blood brother. I leave you with Gladys. She will tell you what you must do. Gladys, what, what was she saying? What rubbish was she saying? You of all people know that I don't have any blood relation. What are you talking about? Which, what, what brother? You know, you should speak up. You should speak up. I'm sorry. Seriously, Gladys, you know better than I have nothing to do with this. It's quite unlikely, right? I believe we set you this issue during your university day, so why are you back at it? Well, Mother, I brought my fiance here because she said she has some questions to ask you. I already told her everything you told me about my father, but I don't know. Somehow she she doesn't seem satisfied. You are my son, Hyde. My only son. You brought this lady here to be your wife. I don't have anything against it. I don't. You realize you have a learned mother, don't you? Of course. Good. And I will never dictate to you on whom to marry. Mother, I really want you to help me. Tell me about his father. Why? What do you want to know about his father? 
He brought you here because he wants to marry you, right? And I don't have anything against it. I encourage you, please, to stick to my son. He's already a medical doctor and he's not doing badly. Please leave his father alone. Mother, what I'm asking is a matter of life and death. Please, I want you to just help me. Tell me about his father. Please. Life and death. What do you mean by that? <sighs> okay. You see, I... <clears throat> I belong to this fellowship. And my spiritual leader is insisting that I investigate the paternity of all the men in my life. And right now, Hyde is the only man in my life. You've already accepted me. Please, Father, help me. This is not about you both. It is all me. So please help me. Tell me about his paternity. Please. My daughter. This is an incident that happened a long, long time ago. every other week. See, I will not get tired of doing it too. Tell me, what would have happened to me had it been you didn't treat me that day? Ikenna, the place you should be thanking more is Victor that brought it to me, not me. Of course, I know. But I've been seeing Victor in my life. But the truth is that, although I was a partial of cultures that day, I knew that if Victor had taken me to other houses, I came to stay in this village for the winter time. Look at you. Maybe waste time in giving me treatment. That is why I say to myself, Mr. Ikenna, any time you grow up at the garage of Omodala, you must go and see your one and only boss. <laughs> what more can I say? Thank you very much. Thank you.
okay now. See, there is something unique about you. I know how to show appreciation. I'm so nice. Is it because I always come back to you? Not exactly. Ever before I treated you, I had treated so many accident victims that had complicated cases more than yours. Never come back. You are the only one who is always coming back to me. And now I feel as if I am indebted to you. Nurse, you are flattening me. Are you not? No, I'm not. I'm telling you the truth. Just concentrate and eat your food. You said you are my cat and your boss. Yes, sir. And you said you don't agree with my sons. Ah, Papa, why are you twisting this matter? I saw her and liked her, and we both agreed to end up like man and wife. Where are you from? She's from. Shut up your mouth. So if you will make a mistake and break your head, are you answering for me? Are you from me? I'm from Umudara. I know Umudara. Is there any man from Umudara that married a woman from Amadi? I don't know much about that, sir. Is there any woman from Umudara that married a man from Ahmed? Mama, are you not going to stop him? Why is he asking her a lot of unnecessary questions? He can. The questions are not unnecessary as you think. Your father wants to know everything about the lady you want to marry. Let her answer the questions. I can't remember any woman from Umudara. Married to a man of Amago. Do you know what that means? It means you are here to study history. And my family can never go down in history as the family that started up this stupid marriage. Now, go down to Umodara and look for a man of Umodara that will be your husband. My son will never marry from Umodara. Do you hear me? See, Mama, something must be done about it. Too. I must marry that girl. Hey, you can Why must you defy your father? There are so many better girls here in Amago that you can easily marry. Hey, why are you bent on marrying the girl that your father is against? She's carrying my child, and you must surely not say that I will not marry her. Hmm. I cannot. I don't know what I must say. But you need to realize that your father is not the kind of man you can do with pregnancy. He said that you must never marry from one mother. It means that the girl will never be your wife. Even when she's pregnant? Yes. You will never marry her. Hi. That was my story. And exactly how it happened. <laughs> So why are you crying? She's a woman with the heart of a woman. She's crying for me. Oh, don't cry, my dear. Don't. Don't cry anymore. I'm happy you come visiting today. You've actually helped me. Already enabled me to tell my son the truth about his origin.
Oh, mother, mother, this is too much for me. This is too much for me. I, I can't believe this. I've always seen myself as a complete, complete man of Omodala village. I never knew. No, you're not, my son. You're not from Omodala at all. Your father was a very nice man. His name was Ikenna Wanku from Amago Kendo. The son of Ichie Wanku Amago. This is why I am crying. This is just why I have been crying. My name is Esther Ikenna. Oh my God. The same Ikenna of Amago Kingdom. Are you serious? I'm telling you the truth. No wonder we just get close so easily. You are my brother. You are my brother. I am happy that you have confirmed that the masters do not lie or deceive any member. Mother Superior. I came here alone because I want you to tell me what I must do to remedy this situation. There is only one way forward. I am prepared to do anything. I do not want my financial world to come crashing. That man that you call your brother that has been sleeping with you must die. Your Majesty, with all due respect, there are things that you cannot say. My father had no son, and I grew up wondering who is going to continue my father's lineage. And all of a sudden, I found a brother. How on earth do you, your majesty, expect me to kill him? Esther, when a man has entered a woman, that man becomes the same body with that woman. You are the same with him. Kill him and secure your freedom or I'll personally kill both of you. I heard your call. I know you are here. Speak to me for your daughter is listening. Holy Sacramento. Mother most spiritual. Go and speak with Esther. Talk to her in a language she must understand. There is a problem in the sisterhood. And to solve that problem, Dr. Hyde must be sacrificed. Have you communicated this conclusion with her, Mother Most Spiritual? She doesn't want to do it. And this is why I came here. That man must be sacrificed to serve this sisterhood. Or I will personally kill both of them. I'll make sure I talk to her first thing tomorrow morning. She has just six days to complete this order. The world rose. How in this world will I see you? I cannot kill my brother. 
I bow before the all-powerful wild rose. Please, I need your help. I know you do, and that is why I'm here. They want to kill my only brother and I. The only family that I have. I've looked for him for years. They want to kill him and I don't want that to happen. Please, I need you to help me. Try to play by their rules until the appearance of the new moon. I will come and take you to the temple of Abanabo and expose you to the mysteries of life. That is the only way forward. They are out to destroy you. And I want you to realize that they have the capacity to do just that. Please, please, Waldos. I don't want that to happen. I don't want it to happen. I don't want them to kill me and my only brother. It's the only family that I have. I surrender under your protection. Please protect me. I am the Wild Rose. I am going to expose you to powers that will make it impossible for Sacramento and her set to come anywhere near you. All I need you to do is to believe. I believe. I believe. I promise you, I believe. I confirm it to you this minute that I believe. I just need your help. Please. Give me one... Are you following me around? Give me one reason why Dr. Hyde is still alive. I don't know what you're talking about. You have to figure out a way to sacrifice the men the masters want you to give to them. Or else, you will be destroyed. You have only six days to do what they want you to do. Or else, you will die with him. Gladys, I will block you out of my office if you came here to cajole me to murder my brother. Why are you such a fool? If you fail to do what they want you to do, you are dead. They will destroy you. Why are you playing with fire? I don't know any other relative except Dr. Hyde. He will carry on my father's lineage. I am not. I repeat, I am not going to kill him. Are you daring the masters? I don't know. I don't care what you mean by daring the masters. What I'm saying to you is that I will not kill my brother. Period. Excuse me. So be it. Suit yourself. If you look around, you'll notice Esther is not here. She is not here because she has compromised her faith. And I want us to understand that she is the one destroying this thing. Do we have your permission to kill her? When you offend a Jew, all other Jews react as if you offended all this is the way of the jews i want us to become like the jews stretch forth your hands and be recharged for the new tax ahead I feel as if I can move the mountain now. Not just the mountain. You can move whatever you want to move. But I want us to start with Esther and Dr. Hyde. We must move them to their graves. And I want this to start urgently. This is the temple of Abanabo. This is where I tutored Sacramento before she revered against me and went and formed the temple of sexy vampires. You always refer to Sacramento as if you know her very well. She served under me. She was such a whore in the occult. She slept with almost all the masters and they were giving her useless powers behind my back. She finally came face to face with the Satan or Spondelix and that one exposed her to the pit of bottomless words. All of you that got initiated 
into the sexy vampire's temple must have words. You will never have peace because you can never marry. Neither will you fall in love. Well, I'm here to change all of that. That is why I followed you. The first thing is to deliver you from the grip of the vampires of Brooklyn. Well, I, I, I don't know what you mean by the vampires of Brooklyn. The temple of the sexy vampires is made up of so many things. I am going to deliver you from all that and prepare you for the task ahead. I never gave you my address. How did you find me? Death is the necessary end to life. It must come when it must come. So are you ready to do what you're supposed to do or do you want me to try what I can try? You know, as it is clear that Esther is my younger sister, from the same father, I would have said let me settle for you. But no, I can't. Because you are one arrogant lady. Do you know the caliber of woman that stands before you? The woman standing before me is a debased woman who is in dire need of Christ. Now turn around and use the door. You are a fool. A big fool to think you would survive this. We are the members of the temple of sexy vampires. We run this city. And then, I trouble. We will suck on your blood and feast on your flesh. The only thing that will stop that is if you make me feel how I want to feel. I do not care where you came from. I will not be counted among the men who have entered you. Now turn around and get out of my house. Since you have refused to move and do what you're supposed to do, I will move you into your grave. Many things do you see as you look around? I see so many things. It's a silver hand. So many eyes on me. I feel like I'm enveloped in so many forces. Those are the forces you need to stand against Sacramento and the powers she have distributed to her members. My target is to destroy that temple and I need you to stand in the gap. So if you use me to destroy Sacramento, what will be in need for me? I will expose you to a new order, an order of peace and oneness. You shall live above fear and nothing shall triumph over you without first destroying me or the power that I represent. I send you back into the city of light to shine above all the lights that have ever shined in the land. My darling brother, 
You're not sleeping? The temple of the sexy vampires. What does that mean? What? Where, where did you get that from? I just had a nightmare. Gladys attacked me. She said they belong to the temple of the sexy vampires. She said they will suck my blood and feast on my flesh. I've been calling you since I finished my prayers and you've not been taking my calls. What's going on? Look, just come to my house now, please. I beg you, just, just start coming. Wait, if, if you know anything about this, why, why don't you just tell me right now? <sighs> Look, Hyde, plans are perfected in high places to take your life. And I'm never going to allow that to happen, so just start coming right now. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute, Esther. Do you, do you know anything about them? Are you, are you, are you part of them? Look, just don't stop talking and just start coming. I don't want you out of my sight. Just get here, please. Um, all right, but certainly not this night. I'll be at your place first thing tomorrow morning. Hello? Hello? Oh, God. How am I going to break this news to my brother? How? He's going to be so disappointed in me. What am I going to do? I was so worried about you. Same with me. I couldn't sleep all night. I was thinking about you and the dream. Please. Don't worry yourself about Gladys and her group. They can't do anything. Esther. Do you have anything to do with them? You know what? What would you like to eat? I want to cook for my brother. Esther, what we face right now is bigger than food. Tell me what I need to know about these people. Madam. Great, yeah. Gladys is outside the gates, and I sense a very big trouble. Send her in. Could you please go inside? I'd handle her myself. What? Please. Why? Trust me on this one. Just go inside. I will handle her. I promise you. Please. No. I, I understand. But just let me handle this. Trust me for once. Please. But Listen, I'm, I'm, hey. I'm your brother. I understand. Right? I should. Do this for me. Just trust me. I'll handle it once and for all. Okay? Go inside, please. Thank you. Be careful. staring at me as if you don't understand what I'm saying. Dr. Hyde is in this house and you must provide him because I must kill him or else I will kill you myself. Let's not fight to finish. Dr. Hyde is my brother and there is no way on earth I'm releasing him to be killed. Really? Oh yeah? So you want me to go find him myself, right? I will do that. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 
side. <laughs> they want me to sacrifice you to the masters of the temple of the sexy vampires. But I said no. I mean, I'd be a fool to sacrifice my only brother. So now they want to kill me so they can take you by force. You mean, this is what you have to contend with, and you've not bothered to consult any man of God? I'm equal to them. You are not equal to anything. At a point like, at a point like this, you need God in your life. You cannot fight the devil with another instrument of the devil. Hyde, I want you to trust me on this one. I know exactly what I'm doing. It is war, all right? But trust me when I said that I could handle them. I will handle them. Just trust me. Okay? I know what I'm doing. I demand an explanation. I unleashed all the powers that you gave to me, but nothing happened. Instead, Esther was the one that injured me. What is the meaning of that? I do not know how she was able to do it. The truth now is that this has become bigger than you think. So are you trying to say that Esther that I introduced into the sisterhood is now bigger than me? She has surrendered herself under the protection of the wild rose. The wild rose. <laughs> Who is the wild rose? She was my boss. She was too strict and orthodox driven. She refused to embrace wealth and refused to understand that the world is all about sex. I met some masters that loved me and they assisted me to create this temple. The wild rose has been looking for a way to destroy this temple ever since then. Esther made herself a tool in her hands and she wants to use Esther to destroy this temple. So are you trying to say that we would sit here and wait for them to destroy us? This has become my war. Leave me to wage it. I am your second in command in this temple. Is there anything you can do without making me a part of it? My brother, Hi, let me read something for you from the Word of God. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. You see, your sister has already been condemned by the occultic kingdom because she walks in the flesh. You have to go and bring her here so that she can come and accept Jesus Christ as her personal Lord and Savior. And then we can unleash the power of God to free her from darkness. Um, <clears throat> there is something you need to understand, Pastor. She may not want to come here. Well, that would simply mean she doesn't want to benefit from the blessings of the Lord. Let me read another verse for you. John chapter 1, verse 12. But as many as receive him, as the personal Lord and Savior, to them give he power to become the sons of God. You see, your sister cannot fight Satan with the power of Satan. She needs to come here and receive the undiluted power of God. And then we can unleash the awesome power of God to set her free from that problem.
Today is a new day. Don't remember what happened to your other day. Just tell your mother to step down, or she will kill all of you here. Get this car out of the road. Let her do the right thing. I said, get this car out of the road. You come and move it yourself. These guys are really stupid. You want to see me, right? Let's see what you have. You want to see me, huh? <laughs> Show them our stuff. All right, bro. Ah. Let's try this. Hold your fire. Tell her to come down. Who? Did he help she just said? That's not possible. So Gladys, you still have the audacity, the effrontery. The temerity to still look for my trouble. I am the original light of the city of light. If you don't surrender, I will make sure I kill you this minute. are going to pay the ultimate price. The very first time I saw that girl at your house, I knew she was trouble. I came to your office to tell you how I felt, but you dismissed me. I'm sorry, Kristen, but you must realize that we, the ladies that run this city, must never cry over spilt milk. Esther proved to be a jack. So we're here to treat whatever problems she must have caused. And I've been meaning to ask you that, Gladys. How do we take care of this problem once and for all? I use this candle of weaker as a point of contact to reach Esther wherever she is. We are the owners of this system and we'll 
always continue to be the controllers of the system. Intruders that were admitted out of sympathy will never, ever destroy what they don't know. Move around me. into my affairs why are you daring me you sealed your unholy legs because you know you have nothing to offer why are you pushing me to the wall i am not pushing you to the wall you broke away from the ethics that i taught you and established a temple of sex by that singular art you have pushed yourself to the wall of death swear on this stuff this minute that you will shut down the temple of sex and I will spare you. I agree you were the boss. But I want you to understand that I have grown above you in occult. I'm even more advanced than you in metaphysical powers. There is only one wise thing you must do. Surrender under my supremacy. Sacramento, you have risen to be a loose lady. A scarlet woman, you are a disgrace in the occult. You have defiled the altar of the fairy unicorn. And what do you think you can do to me now? I would terminate your existence if you fail to swear on this staff this minute. I will teach you today that new things are always stronger than the old things. I will come back for you. <sighs> you triggered your own death and you will die slowly. You initiated illicit sex in this city and I will expose you to sex by fire. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father King of Glory, shall talk things we gathered here. Because you said where two or three are gathered in your name. Father, you said you are in the midst. Father, we take dominion, we take charge, we take control, O oh Lord, over every spirit of hell that is operating in the air, in the sea, in the land. Father, wherever they gather, O oh God, plotting the destruction of this just. Father, we say, O oh Lord, it shall not stand in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so we decree, O oh Lord, that no plans of the enemy, no forces of the enemy, no enchantments of the wicked shall prevail against the just. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So, Lord, we decree, let the fire burn, Lord. Let fire burn them down. Let it consume them, Jehovah. Let fire bless them down. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. So what are we going to do now? Give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God's. <laughs> what is the meaning of that? We have to leave this property and move into my place. Listen, Esther, we will fight Satan, but first we have to surrender everything you got from him. Your belongings, your property, all your riches, everything back to the devil. You must be a fool to ever think she can leave. She belongs to me. I have found a new hope in Christ Jesus. Yes. And to him, I belong. I do not belong to you today. I will never belong to never. you. Never. I saved you from the temple of the Selzy vampires. I have destroyed that temple and its members. You cannot turn your back at me now. The triumph of the wicked is for a moment. And the joy of the hypocrite lasts just for a second. 
you have found a new faith in Christ, and I will live the rest of my life saving you and him alone. I cast you in the name of Jesus. I bind you in the mighty name of Jesus. I return you to wherever you came from. I bind you in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I can't find you with the blood of Jesus. Bind you with fire. Bind you. Bind you with fire. Consume you. Take you back to the abyss. I bind you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let this one pass. I declare you free in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I cover your daughter in the blood of Jesus. I dedicate her back, O oh God, unto you, O oh Lord. Father, preserve her, protect her. I stand to decree, O oh Lord, that every forces of the enemy fighting against her shall fall for her in the name of Jesus. Let your glory be upon her, O oh Lord. Let your power rest upon her, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Take control, Lord. Take preeminence. And let your name be glorified in her life. Amen. 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 Thank you for answering Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. To be sincere, I am very, very disappointed with you. Disappointed with me? Why? Your name is Timothy. I have a number of years. And you were born and baptized into the Catholic Church. And we also wedded in the Catholic Church. So why did you suddenly change and turn into a pagan? I don't understand it. Look at this woman. Why are you calling me pagan? Why are you people always in a hurry to condemn what you don't know? Must every single man in Amago be going to church? If every man is going to church, who are the people? Where are we going to invent the men that will come and uh, take charge of our cultural value, values and heritage in this, in this land? Where are we going to invent the men? Where are they going to come from? Every, everybody is talking about peg and peg and peg. Do you know how many goats all these men that are coming from on each other that are coming to sacrifice our deity are in charge? Do you know how many goats that bring it every other week? You know, do you know the amount of money? Nah, yeah. If you change and turn back to Catholic uh, uh, into a Christian, I would like it better. That you have finally found yourself a husband. Eh? Mm, you are welcome to our home. Good afternoon, sir. The time has come for you to tell us how you killed my parent. I don't understand. Are you here to accuse me of murder or something? What are you talking about? You see this man standing here? His name is Dr. Hyde. He is a medical doctor. And my father's son. What? Now, young man, listen to me. I don't know from where she imported you, and I don't know the game we are here to play. But I want to warn you immediately. You have no inheritance in this family. Her father, my brother, had no son anywhere. I don't know what people are talking about. Timothy, take a good look at him and see that he looks like your brother. You your late brother's son. Turn up, also, son. Please welcome him to our family. It will never work. I'm going to tell you people that it will never work. This your game will never work. Only you have a moment. It will not, it, it can never work. I don't know what I've been looking for an opportunity to see you. So that I can apologize for all the wrong things I've done to you. Man, I have offended you so massively. In short, I don't even have the boldness to face you. I'm so ashamed of myself for all the things I did with my daughter. To help this woman, forgiveness divine. I'm begging you, my daughter, to please forgive me. Stand up. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Do you know why I left this house? Mm -hmm. I left this house because your husband, my own uncle, turned me into a sex machine. What did you see? Uncle Timothy is evil. He took me to a bush. He said he wanted to show me the boundary of our land. And he raped me. He got me pregnant. And he aided the abortion. 
the complications from that abortion was what I was going through all through the time I was in this house. Which is why I left. That is all I've been going through. I see that was you know. He murdered my parent. He killed my parent. And he must surely pay for it. He will pay for it. There is a man that is now in my compound. A man I am seeing for the very first time. He has been introduced as the son of Iken and my late brother that he got from a strange woman. For him to have the guts to enter my compound, I consider it to be the worst mistake he ever made. And let it be so. This outing must be the very last outing he will make in his lifetime. I invoke death on him. Whatever thing his name is, I invoke that you have done this for me several times and there is no way you are going to disappoint me today. Let this be the very last time you will ever make any outing. Go. Go. Move. one <laughs> You died and I buried you in peace. And you're supposed to be resting in peace. I don't know why you are making appearance in our family or the shrine where I am doing my thing. Why seek ye the destruction of my family? What family are you talking about? What family are you talking about? You are a dead man that I already buried. You don't know anything that is happening anymore. I am the one that is now in charge. And I am the one that knows what family means. I presume you are making reference to that animal that is standing there in my compound with Esther. Who is he? Why would he come to make mockery of me? I am the one that knows who are the members of this family and that man there is not a member of the family. And that man must die. He must die. Make yourself comfortable in my hands. Should I open it? Don't worry, you'll okay, be fine. Take my son, you're welcome. I'm so happy you put of you are here. Eh? Welcome. My son, this is your father's house, okay? Um, my daughter, let me go and prepare something delicious for you too. <laughs> Esther, if you ask me, I would say, let's just go. Because this uncle of ours looks like someone who is full of trouble. And honestly, I do not want trouble. I'm not going anywhere until he tells me all that I need to know about my parent. But you never told me you were raped. <sighs> I just don't want to bother you with any useless information. Just 
Timothy, I refuse to cry for you. I will not cry for you. You are evil. You shameless man. You are evil. You defied your brother's daughter and made her pregnant. I will not cry for you. I will not mourn you. The gods have judged you rightly. They have judged you. Hi! You! My daughter. My children. Nobody will curse whom God did not curse. He will not curse you. All that this wicked man stole from your father, I will return all back to you. He's an evil man. And I will not mourn him. Thank you.